All right, guys, we are here live. Uh, this is going to be a weird episode of Warcraft Reloaded, but uh, we got a ton of people here to talk. It's going to be wonderful. <laughs> First here, we have the the man of the hour, Wiki. Hi, my name's Yip. <laughs> <laughs> How's it going? I told you it's going to be a weird show. My voice is kind of gone. <laughs> <laughs> Already. Last night. Yeah, we uh, partied a little hard last One night. One night. A little hard. Yeah. It's just it's just the start. Yeah, just a bit. Yeah, I went to bed at one last night. I mean, it's gonna be different, oh, you know, early. going on. Oh, yeah, right. it was early. early. I mean, they wimped out and left. Yeah, we left <laughs> your hotel at one. <laughs> I know. And we came back here and partied for eleven three hours, and then went to bed. So I went to bed at like two thirty three. Oh wow. Rude. Well, is 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 oh, I'll hold this. is this your first TwitchCon? No. No. Okay. No, so I'm a huge, massive simp. <laughs> awesome. So <laughs> I've I've came to TwitchCon for years. Damn. Yeah. And <laughs> special plane appearance here now? Yep. Planes, <laughs> planes. Right by the airport? No, I, I came to TwitchCon, I think, 2018. Nice, nice. With uh, with a bunch of my, my friends and, oh, and homies. I actually was at the partner party last night, and I met up with a friend that I met at TwitchCon 2018, randomly. I didn't even know that they were here. Nice. And it was cool because we became really good friends, you know, four or five years ago. Neither of us were partnered. Uh, and now it's like four years later, we came back and randomly saw each other again and we, at the partner party, nice. which was really cool because not that many people actually stick to streaming that long, even let alone, you know, consistency. So it's, it was it was really cool. Shout outs to my boy, Roly Poly Potamus. Roly Poly Potamus. We, 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 yeah, <laughs> that's how we met. We, we both had Potamus names. Oh, that's great. Yeah. And it turns out he lives like 30 minutes from me. So we've like hung out in real life. Over the last couple of years as well. Damn, damn. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't get to go to the, the partner party. I was a lowly. It wasn't affiliate. as cool as you think it was. <laughs> I heard there were drinks. There, there was free drinks. That was the coolest part. No, no, no. But you can make it sound like it was really the coolest thing. Yeah, it was anybody. actually pretty sick. Yeah. Like, yeah. They treated you like a. Basically, king, you yeah, know? you walked in, you got free lap dances. Um, and then right as soon the as you were done with the free lap dance of, you know, your choice, you could pick from thousands of beautiful people. And then uh, to make him a drink. Yeah, they would bring you just there was waiters and they just bring caviar <laughs> and uh, and alcohol and they'd be like, hey, partner, <laughs> partner, <laughs> partner, listen. And then and then not only that, but they had a red velvet rope with all the affiliates outside of it. <laughs> and it made you feel better as you walked in. And then they were like there was bouncers. And this is true. Actually, there was bouncers and you would walk up and you'd hear people go, do I have to be a partner to go in there? And the bouncer would be like. Yeah. <laughs> it was great. Partners only. That is And great. then Jeff Bezos came in, gave us all a, a slap on the back, said, good job. Thanks for making us money. Yeah. That was great. Oh, great time. Man. Twitch is literally in the red <laughs> <laughs> for, for years and years and years. It will never not be in the red. But no, it was fun. It was a good time. None of that actually happened. Uh, it was it was a good time. Free drinks was like the highlight of it. I got to I did get to meet some of my favorite like like celebrity quote unquote streamers. Uh -huh. um, I was really happy about that. Like I met my, this guy Batty. I've been watching Batty on Twitch for like six or seven years now. The dude's a giga chad, red blooded, barrel chested, freedom fighting <laughs> mother fripper dude. This dude he streams. He's got thirty two cameras in his room. He has, 30, wow. he has 32 cameras in his room. For what? what he has three PCs. He has a gaming PC, a streaming PC, and a camera PC. Because he parties that hard. And he's got a mini fridge next to him full of ice claw at all times. And the back wall behind him is a Call of Duty loadout of like 800 firearms. Real life, <laughs> 50 caliber, everything. All I of had it. a neighbor with like Dude's a badass. crazy, crazy Call of Duty guns. He showed me all the different things. I was like, dude. Yeah. How much was this? That has to be such an expensive yeah. hobby. Bad, baddie's part of the part of the the reason Power Hour exists on my channel is because like with the lasers and the fog machines uh -huh. and all that, he does that, but for Call of Duty and Tarkov, which is pretty nice, cool. Nice. So I was I got to meet him. I got to meet um, a couple of the homies from the Smash Bros community were there, where, which was really cool. Like Hug Hugo for, uh, Hugs was there. Hungry Box was there. Um, the Gimmer, the guy that runs VG Boot Camp, was there, which is like the biggest tournament organizer for Smash Bros, which is cool. Nice. So it was a good time. Well, this is my first time, so I'm looking. F I'm looking forward to it. First, it's your first time at TwitchCon. Period. Period. Yeah, first time ever. Whoa. Sorry, guys. Played interference. I always do BlizzCon. Yeah, they're they're BlizzConers. 
Yeah, hey, BlizzCon. <laughs> yeah. So I'm a newbie here. BlizzCon. Like you could ask this this man here. I get us in everything. Yeah. TwitchCon is kind of a different uh, vibe, though. I think I get us in everything. We're a team. Uh, yeah, 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 We're a team. Kind of. Like, no, 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 no. We're a team. We're a team. We're a team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I do it. <laughs> Hey, well, uh, uh, Sarth, why don't you jump in here? Yeah, hop in. Oh, my God. Here, I'll, I'll uh, hop off, actually. No, no, no. I need your beautiful face. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh we need, are we just... We need both. Welcome to Warcraft Reloaded. Episode, what episode are we on? You know. 122? Episode 122 from Live from San Diego. I'm sitting here with Sarth. My name is Blazin Bob. <laughs> no, to my left, I have the wonderful Melarina. Yip is not here because we don't invite him to things. <laughs> not anymore. Not anymore. Yeah. yeah. Overstate is welcome. Not cool. Yeah. Though. How are you feeling today, Sarth? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, I feel like so good. Oh, they, thank you for having me. Thank you for having me. Wow, what a beautiful day. What 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 about those Lakers? Oh yeah, oh, the my Lakers. God. Mm-hmm. What, which, what what they yeah. can't see is Crix is also streaming us right, literally Directly just here, off yeah. camera. Yeah, there so, we go. So this is just awkward. You're gonna get very dizzy if you watch his stream. Yes. Yes. That's yes. How he does. yes. He keeps just going. Uh, slowly turning right and left to this flipping upside down. It's great. But so how cool is this that we're all in person, like tangible, we can feel, touch each other in the best ways Finally. possible. Finally. Dude. And like we can actually like no, no, go ahead. we're we're seeing the people that we've spent the last like three or four years hanging out with on the internet, which is pretty pretty fucking cool. And everybody is so much taller than I thought. <laughs> everybody. Like I thought Wiki would be this short little guy. He's a, he's a, he's a taller than me, and then Tyrannosaurus, and Sarth over here, Mr. Super Tall Guy. I made it. Everybody's so much taller. <laughs> what does Menace do? What does Menace do? It can only be blocked by cards that share the same color. So it's that a black card with Menace. Color. It's not the other colors. Okay. There's a, there's a uh, hey, uh, Magic Cargo. the Gathering tournament going on. Going yeah, on, yeah. yeah. No, no, okay, recorded. we have Cargo's Gaming here, YouTube Extraordinaire. Washed up relic of an ancient YouTube. Classic. Andy. <laughs> yeah. Hello, guys. <laughs> Just out here with the boys vibing, yeah. playing some How Magic the Gathering. Uh, I'm feeling. How's Twitchcon as, a, an ex- how, as an experience been? I'm keeping a buck fifty-three, buck 53 with you, brother. I'm, I'm, I'm about. I'm about. Um, this is a solid nine point five out of ten. This are. This is a real highlight. So of what my makes life. it the ten? Yeah, we got to bring what this up. What makes it a ten? Mm-hmm. More bitches. Yeah, I was gonna say. Oh my bitches. God. More yeah. bitches. Okay. Uh, all of us are married. All of us. I was like, everyone all of us are married. <laughs> he said, he's, literally, there is like one single person in this entire house. We definitely need, need more bitches here. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, uh, Sarth, just bring it back to uh, to uh, you know. Actual wow! Oh yeah, yeah. What did I you do yesterday? You didn't make it out here because you had to actually do something in WoW. Yeah, I think I was the latest person to make it to TwitchCon because I had to stream the in, the raids the whole day, like the whole day. I I think I was raiding for twelve hours almost. Um, I had to knock out raids on both characters, well, two eighties, every single one of the raids, and also check out and cover the race to world first, which. Beef Bar won, like, and kind of was out of nowhere because they beat Progress by one minute because on Gehennis, there's a there's a buff you can get called Soul Revival that you can't get on Fire Maw that gives you 10% damage. Oh, you wow. You literally can't get it on Fire Maw because Blizzard forgot to turn it off. Yeah. It's from the Scourge Invasion. No, no, Blizzard, it's still it's still live. Blizzard oh, forgot wow. to turn it off Yep. on Gehennis for some reason. I'm pretty sure it... Isn't it live everywhere? Because I've heard that like you can still get the guitar everywhere. No, so it, the whole event I think is still live. No, it's 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 off on like Benediction. It's not there because I tried to go get some <laughs> some consecrated sharpening stones, which are low key bis for unholy DKs if you didn't know. Um, and and it's not there on Benediction. But then I was like randomly running around. Actually, I was in Blasted Lands leveling my my weapon skill uh, yesterday morning, right at the beginning of stream. Because I realized that I hadn't leveled maces when I made my crafted mace. And I ran right by the Scourge Invasion. I was like, no way is this still up. <laughs> and I literally on stream was like, there's no shot that Blizzard allows you to bring Soul Revival buff in. That's 10% damage. And there's also no shot they allow you to bring in Dark Moon Fair, which is another 10% damage. They allowed both. Oh, wow. Both, D- nope. DMF was still there the entire time. I almost got it because we thought it was going to go away. They yeah, just I was forgot, convinced. Probably. I literally called it out. I was like, there's no shot, guys. There's no point in me yeah. getting... They, they allowed it. Fully allowed it. They did that, 
Yeah. So that's uh that's how the world first happened. Progress had the craziest strategy. Hold it a little closer. To sorry. This. Oh no, you're good. Progress. I, I get so excited about this stuff. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, good. Yeah, we love um, it. Progress had the craziest strategy. They pulled this one mob, the Death Knight mobs from the the DK wing. If you bring it anywhere, it randomly will choose another like enemy near it to give hysteria which I guess we can't say, but like Unholy Frenzy. Uh -huh. And they take 1% damage per second, 1% of their HP. It did 250,000 DPS to Lotheb. They just brought this mob the entire way, every single wing, and they killed Lotheb a minute and a half faster than anyone else in the world because of it. It's crazy what people come up with. You it was, know? Yeah. It's so crazy. Like, everybody makes fun of us as you know classic gamers are like you guys go so sweaty it's like it's because we're doing things that like nobody ever did before you know and that's what makes the speed running thing really neat to watch is these crazy things like remember in back in nax in vanilla when they thought to to grab the buff from from thaddeus and killed sarth in yes like, in like seconds flat you know those types of things are just neat when people figure it out so i get it that was I was waiting. Oh, I get so cheesed about this. I was waiting the entire phase for that one because I had a, a podcast with, I think it was with Zyrene before Nax came out. We did like a, a one off, and literally I was like, I believe that someone, someone is gonna do is gonna bring Thaddeus buff into Saffron and it's gonna they're gonna kill him before they die. Someone's gonna do it by the end of the phase, I'm calling it right now. And then literally it was the week before the end of Nax and they did it and it was so sweet. Yep. And it like eleven second Saffron kills. So epic. Uh, you said uh you said the sh the sharpening shows are bist. Does that mean you have to use an older weapon because it's it's uh, item level one sixty five is the highest, right? Yes. So there is a the sharpening stones give you a hundred and seventy attack power against undead. Um, for dual wield unholy, your weapons don't matter. For dual wield unholy, your offhand doesn't matter. It it doesn't matter. It's just a stat stick. Yeah. And a there was one version of the beta where. The sharp sharpening stones wouldn't apply to damage to your diseases or to your death and decay. And then they revamped the beta in another build, and they did. And so now the 170 attack power is stronger than any other pre bis weapon you could have, which would be Grass Cutter from Badges. It's literally stronger than that. So a lot of people in the Race World First runs actually ran with that. And actually, the World First was, was 10 Unholy DKs. Wow. Yeah, Out of I, 25 players, 10 Unholy DKs. I, I felt like such an idiot. Yeah. Because yeah. I went out and, and farmed like 300 stones. Now, to be fair, it only took me like, it took me under an hour because I was the uh, the warrior revenge spec. Oh, so, yeah, destroying everything. Yeah, so I just pulled the whole group, you know, killed, pulled the whole group, then soloed each of the bosses, you know, easy yeah. as pie. But it's, I still, I Latte had like boy. all these stones, and My then I boy. finally read it. And this was like, you know, when the event first started, I finally yeah. read it. I'm like, oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> yeah, it's like it can't be used on anything above item level 165, I yep. think. Yeah. And I was like, well, damn it. And I, I, was, I was thinking, I'm going to have these all. Nobody's getting these. And I was the idiot. <laughs> yeah. No, it actually. So another reason why they're amazing, too, is hunters. Although um, I'll let the plane go I by. Oh, yeah. Sorry, guys, this is just what we have to deal with, but we'll wait it's so live. that you can hear it. You know, we're live. This is this is what we get through. Um, but Hunters, actually, it should be the entire phase, all of phase one until Old War, it should be their best entire option, would be to use two of Kill Jaden's daggers, uh, the Crux of the Apocalypse, and use two of these Sharpening Stones. But for some reason, another weird thing that Blizzard scripting does for hunters it, or for ranged attack power, it's only applying the level 60 version of Sharpening Stone's attack power. Weird. Makes literally no sense. Oh, because it's probably because, re like, remember in Classic when they went back and fixed hunters? Yeah, they probably and they only things, fixed yeah. the items that were in the game currently. That's actually super true. I didn't even think about that. I bet that's you amazing. that's it. Yeah. yeah, I bet you that's it. So they'll probably fix it. I mean, we do have a, like a, quite a few of the the Blizzard people that do listen to this show. So yeah. maybe you know. We'll oh, get shout lucky. out to Blizzard! <laughs> they finally they announced yesterday the first official speedrun competition in 
WoW Classic, which has been like everything I've been pushing for for like two and a half years. Well, what's crazy is like I was getting hints from the esports people about that for ever and I you know they're like they wouldn't tell me but they're like yeah. something besides PvP might be coming and it's like okay I know what that is but yeah. but that was way back at the start of TBC like I thought it yeah. would have been a lot sooner but I mean I guess that stuff takes time to develop and get all the paperwork done talk to yeah. all the upper people but it's 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 cool that they're giving us some some more but I want more I do, I do too. That's why I feel like you mentioned it last time I was on the podcast that they had hired a bunch of like new people at Blizzard. Yeah. They bought and a company and they said they're all going to WoW. They just didn't say where retail or classic. But you mm. got to assume that some are going to go to classic, right? Yeah. I mean, you have to because it's big. Like it's yeah. really big. I think they're now investing actually in content. This is the first time I think I've seen in my like wow career them invest in the content and and actively improving the game by having input from like the community i think oh yeah and it's really cool i i don't know if it's the addition of athelus is the new community lead of yeah months he's back. phenomenal he's been amazing yeah. and he's been really he's been communicating with us a lot and keeping us in the loop and it's been it's been really cool and you know like all we can do is hope and it seems like it seems like they're caring about us now because in the beginning they just wanted to sweep us under the rug i remember blizzcon 2019 i told anybody that was a wow player at the time you know yeah. like retail i told them that i play classic they're like oh you're one of oh, those oh yeah oh <laughs> i'm just like dude come on but i think they're actually embracing it now and i just you know i hope for Wrath Classic. I might, if they do some good changes to Kata, like, I'll think about it, but I'm hoping for Wrath Classic. I think that's, I'm curious what you guys are we excited have about. Wrath Classic. No, Wrath Plus. Wrath Plus? Oh, yeah. uh, I was like, I was, uh, welcome, Plus, Bob. Sorry, we have yeah. Wrath Classic. We are currently in that. What are, but like, what are you like, because like, I personally now am getting so hyped for like the idea of speedruns and like new things they, they announced, Heroic Plus and stuff. But like, what, I'm curious what like you guys are really excited about in this expansion. Huh. Yeah, that's I a mean, big question. <laughs> yeah, right? I feel like I'm most excited just to go through all of the raids. I don't think I did most of the raids. <laughs> okay, I probably did. I don't you remember. Did everything except um, for ice, uh, ice Crowd. Oh. Yeah. Well, it'll all so be new again to me. The, um, well, in, in the last thing. But honestly, I, I think I enjoy Classic so much just because I've been with the same community for so long and like yeah. just enjoying like experiencing the new content. We've got two different raids that are going to go on. One was a little bit more casual um, and one's a little bit more competitive. So we are trying mm -hmm. to get a little bit more of a competitive team going this um, in your guild? Yeah, yeah. this expansion, which is exciting. Because before we had a lot of competitive people and then a few, you None. know, not as competitive <laughs> people, yeah. right? Um, and so splitting that up, I think, will be a lot of fun. Yeah, for me, I've been a DPS forever. And I'm looking like I'm going to get an opportunity to main tank. Uh, really? And I'm going to try to do it as a warrior. So I'm pretty excited for that challenge. And I've been taking a lot of her, a lot of her. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm taking the casual rate. <laughs> but uh, I'm excited to I'm excited learning about tank, and I've been having a ball doing it. It's in, so fun. Her, yeah, in heroics, it's been great. Like deep prods, fun. Revenge prods, fun. But mine, it's more. You know, I'm not going to be using that really in raids. Yeah, you know it's I mean? insane for heroics. Yeah. As the healer doing these dungeons with Bob as Prot, um, I may have some challenges to that statement. I'm Ooh, learning not I'm, to turn I'm, my back. So as a DPS, yes. it's always never backpedal. Always turn, run immediately, yeah. right? Well, that's, you know, that's not the, that's not the tank way, you know, yeah. it's the side run, you know, and stuff like that. Yeah, I just see Bob's like, he'll take a little bit of damage, a little bit of damage, and then all of a sudden it'll be like, Phew! and I'm like, did you turn your back? Bob? And he's like, I'm, I'm working on it. And I'm like, yeah, hey man, Rome wasn't built in a day. You That's know? so like, true. You got to keep, you got to keep reminding yourself. I mean, it's just like any sport or anything, you know, practice, practice, right? Tanking is one of 
one of those things that I think is is one of the most like challenging to have done really well, but it is so amazing when it's done well. Like you don't even notice it. It's it's one, it's like healing, right? It's the person who anticipates a big damage ability coming through and always like deals with it with like a pain suppression or a big heal timed, but like. You, you only notice it if you die. Like, you only <laughs> notice it if you die. Something yep. goes wrong, it's like, oh, this tank sucks. But, like, if the tank is phenomenal <laughs> and you're, like, moving super fast, you're not, like, usually, like, I do, like I do, we yeah, do, but, you know. But most people don't, you know. Yeah. It's very, a, very, a very thankless thing. But, yeah, we're like, holy shit, we're going so fast. We're going so fast, you know. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, but that I mean, that's what I'm excited about. But, I mean, I'm loving achievements. I mean, I'm loving so much about about wrath but wrath was always my favorite though so yeah i've been sitting here like if i had a group of them it's wrath vanilla and then tbc tbc is okay for me tbc i think was i kind of like pushed through it mix for every i feel like everyone right it was like, like sci-fi meets fantasy and it's not really into me yeah <laughs> Yeah, yeah, but but what about like the thing is I think people are are super hyped for Wrath, but like I'm trying to like set a basis for everyone like yo by the way phase one is Nax Ramus you've done uh -huh. Nax Ramus you know phase one is Nax like phase one of TBC was was Karazhan and everyone like rushed ten characters to level eighty or seventy and I was like be aware it's Karazhan. Well, phase one lasted way too long in TBC it kind of doomed it man a little bit like phase one you guys remember right people yeah. were getting really bored towards that end of Tale one in TBC absolutely I wonder if that's gonna be a situation here with Wrath man if they're gonna learn from it a little well, bit you know what I mean. I, think the I hope they do. I think the difference is is that Kara was the main raid. It was only ten man. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah. So and true. now we're gonna have twenty five and ten man versions of everything. I think that'll help a lot. And Nax is gonna feel kind of fun for all. It's because it's a loop pinata. Yeah, it's a loop pinata. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. even even average guilds will be able to really kind of like test their speed skills going That's through true. it. You know, and I Nax think it'll be kind raid. of fun. It's, like, it's very beautiful. It's a beautiful yeah. raid. It's well done. Great encounters. But yeah, the, the perception towards Kara and TBC was that it wasn't a real raid. It didn't count because it was a yeah, 10-man. Yeah. Hold on, guys. Sorry. Let's wait for the plane. All right, go back. Oh, yeah, I was just saying that like Kara's in, in a lot of people's mind didn't count as a raid because it was only a 10-man. You know, yeah. Nax is... Nax is uh, Max is a different beast, but I have to say, so we started with three drakes yesterday, mm -hmm. and it was intense. It was awesome, blood pumping. You know, we got it down. It was so exciting. And then we did Nax after. Yeah. And I was like half asleep in Nax. I'm, like, I'm, I'm gonna keep it a buck with you. I was, I was, I was like two wings in. I'm like, can this just please end? What like, What class were you playing? I was playing uh, prop alley. Prop alley, yeah. yeah. I think the, the exciting thing for me, at least for Nax, is now it's like every class is so different. So now you're going through this, the, the same motions, although you can do things faster, right? Now we have rocket boots every 30 seconds, right? Because you can, you can boot swap. That, there's no, no, no shot. A, a, there's Ag no Ag shot. Ag they have weak auras where you are perma moving at... Yeah. Like it automatically swaps you to another but season. It, There's no cooldown. Like but that's what you want to do. But that, you'd have to drop combat. That's all part of the strategy, oh, right? I see. So you have to drop combat. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. it's all like I have like four pairs of boots. I'm not even. But joking. shouldn't it trigger um, that? You know, when you pop a trinket, there's a 30 second cooldown. For there it? is when you equip the new one. Oh, there is. Yeah. People are telling me that it doesn't so work that way. So every time you equip a new on use item, there's okay. a 30 second CD. Okay. Okay. Same thing for gloves. Because that would be cracked. For if it was just glove boot, weaving. Boot. Boot. boot yeah. Was like. Glove weaving became like a huge thing in the mage discord and I, I really wasn't stoked on it and I made a YouTube video on it <laughs> saying I think Blizzard's gonna fix this. I hope they fix this, but use it during the first raid. Agron tweeted at me literally like the next day is like, by the way guys, you know, um, we're gonna fix glove weaving. <laughs> Ag Agron is the homie bro. You know he played in Road to Ragon Season of Mastery Hardcore with us and everything like that the whole time. He was on there the whole time bro. What? Yeah dude. Agron I did not know that. Real. Yep, he's been, he was helping us out big time. But yeah. uh, clam weaving was peak meme. Like that was, <laughs> that was, the, that best, was, that was that, the best thing I've ever seen. The perfect embodiment of like the OD sweat people put into yeah. this game. They're literally buying jaggle clams for like 50 <laughs> gold a stack and they're so hyped insane. to parse and it gets like fixed and like some dude has It like, actually, the, the craziest thing, it was never a thing. They just provided fake info enough fake info no way it was never a thing and and i literally i was on my way back from a wedding and i got food poisoning and i li like so i had to wake up from like food poisoning back in la and i had 23 
like singular like pings in Discord. So are you checking out clam weaving? You're checking out clam weaving? And I was like, oh my god! I like get up. I was like, <laughs> so turn on my computer. I'm real? sweating. No, it's never real. And then, no. and then before I even so have to look into it. So anybody who said that they were doing it were lying. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Or they just <laughs> thought they were doing it and argue. didn't know how to Poor test like, it. Yeah, dude, it's sick. It's sick. I love There's, it, dude. I'm well, uh, right okay. Here, a right. lot of people were in on. Were like basically. No, they just didn't know. Well, I think. Okay, so uh, shout out to Josh Corbett and Count and Countdown to Classic. He did an interview with the people that came up with the uh, with the, the clam the thing. post, and they so say, um, said it was the craziest thing because the DK Discord, instead of like somebody calling him out and being like, "This doesn't work," the first few people just Went played into the meme, and like just played in with it, and then. All of a sudden, it just started blowing up because everybody. There's all it people was, that just don't fact check, though. Like, I just yeah. hear that, and I'm like, there's no possible way that could be fake. Okay, I guess that's what it is. Literally, right? there, there was, there was like, like five YouTube like, videos that mo that day about it. And, like, the, my first thought for me individually was, like, unholy DKs don't need another gcd you're waiting on your you're waiting on your runes all the time so being in unholy presence would be like the worst so first of all that was my first thought and then people were like it increases your dps so i was like how is that possible makes no sense and then i'm looking into it i, I was at the airport waiting to pick up my girlfriend um and i was like literally like about to drive home and make a video or test it and make a video i was like gonna farm it i was like so annoyed i was gonna have to do this and they released the video saying like it was like the meme video where uh it's that spanish video where the guy's like laughing yeah, on the talk show the yeah <laughs> and and they're writing and they're like we we almost we were thinking maybe starth would make a video about it it was never a real thing we provided fake facts no way yeah. so it was actually a whole yeah it was a whole start it, it was a whole thing it was oh so i literally God. was like crying laughing waiting it yeah. was it, it literally they actually wrote in their video that it was like we thought Sarth would make a video I was like I was so close I was on my way I was gonna drive home and and like literally go farm clams and test this out that's hilarious. And, uh, well like, that's what they were so excited yeah. about is that so many people went and farmed clams just yeah. to try this I know out firsthand that bought clams for like for a 50 lot of gold. gold a stack or something bro like ready to pump with clams yeah let me, let thick, me, I have shout to, out the thick meta to thick meta about yeah. clam weaving Clam weaving was the one moment in classic World of Warcraft that I had the my time to shine. <laughs> so what people don't know is on vanilla, Let's in go. vanilla, I made a gnome rogue, got stripped him naked, sent him to Ironforge, named him Clam Guzzler. Oh my god! And I sent every clam that I ever got in the entire game to this gnome. Every ability on my gnome's macros or on my hotbars was just a face eating clams and I would just spam it and it would auto trade people clams in Ironforge and I've been doing it for years. No way. Low key doing it for years just to troll at like four in the morning I'd, when I'm bored. Get on Clam Guzzler, go hand out clams. Yeah. Clam weaving got dropped and I had like 20,000 clams. <laughs> I was ready to go. Fuck farming. I've been farming clams my whole life. Yeah. Okay. And then I'm this no cap, buck 35, and I'm not lying. True story. Clam weaving. Did you make gold? Did you? No, listen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How much gold listen, did you make? Listen, clams didn't stack before, though. They didn't. No, it was, yeah, he just had a billion bags. <laughs> he bought an entire guild bank of clams. <laughs> 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 okay, my bank was full. I had all nether weave bags, right? Full of clams. And then my mailbox was just <laughs> infinite clams. Oh, my Because I would just, every time I got a clam. Yeah. Well, it's it yeah. started it started it started because of a meme in my classic guild. Like we used to do this thing where we had a priest named Taggard, and every time we did molten core, we would trade him lifeless stones as a message <laughs> that he has no fucking life. Right? That oh was like God. that was like what we did, and it pissed him off. Bully. So as in in return, kind of toxic. it's very toxic. Yeah, Our guild is very like, toxic. Jesus. But but in return, his his retaliatory section of what we were doing was he started mailing people clams so it became yeah. like a joke in the guild of like you get a, a mail from taggart he filled your mailbox with clams because they're the most annoying item in the game yeah. right yeah. they're just terribly annoying you open, so and like, you have to open them and delete them yeah the auto deleted your clams you would do the hard, yeah in the hardcore challenge remember you in hardcore you'd sit there and get a thousand yeah. clams have to open each one of them to make room in your bag mm -hmm. auto clam yeah. auto clam well, so in TBC, the beginning of TBC, everyone was just farming uh, slave pens, and you got a billion clams from yeah. that. So I literally downloaded Auto Clam. It just yeah. opened it. Auto Clam. Yeah. Auto -clam. yeah. 
for me it was hardcore because like bag space really mattered and yeah i wasn't gonna delete that because gold really mattered <laughs> so i wanted an add-on that would open every clam but there yeah, but auto clam only does things that can give like golden pearls and like things. oh wow yeah so I it doesn't do the low level ones and since i kept dying on my fucking rogue i was always low level <laughs> but it was fun Clam, clam weaving was fun. It was a fun time. For yeah, me. that was that was like it was the one moment the I had. The biggest. That was the dopest meme, and I love that the community came. Like other I remember than that, seeing your tweet. Yeah. You you tweeted the next day. You were like, "I'm so mad. I was out of town this weekend." And like people were like, "Like get the fuck home. You gotta figure out what this clam yeah, weaving so, thing is." I literally was so annoyed. Yeah. I was so annoyed waking up. I was like, "Oh my god, this is terrible." Yeah. Okay. But how many people do you think actually like? Use the clams and thought that they were clam weaving. DPS like, increase. So many, yeah, so many. Right? Everybody, yeah. ev ev everybody except for like the actual admins. I'm I'm so curious that the admins of the DK Discord allowed this because any theory crafter or like any of the top death knights would always know like you're in unholy presence and again like getting a faster GCD does nothing for you. <laughs> it doesn't it doesn't help you other than maybe in the spider wing in Naxxramas. That's it, right? It just goes to show like the classic community is so full of degen people that are like, I gotta parse. Yeah. Like, any advantage that they could possibly get, they're like, I'm gonna buy every claim on the auction house. <laughs> yeah. Like hundred gold per stack. I don't even care. I'm not gonna go kill Murlocs in Westfall or whatever. It's well, like a and uh, a lot of people just don't know how to check, you know, don't yeah, know yeah. how to actually look into the logs. I mean, logs are kind of, it takes a while to really learn how to use, you know, Warcraft logs correctly. Yeah. yeah. Grace, did you win? Take my seat, brother. Who's the winner? Take my seat, brother. Take my seat, brother. The throne is yours, brother. All right. Let's go. Grace for days. Let's go. You got to hold it. You got to hold it. So. Or are we? We're talking about clam weaving. How do you feel about clams? <laughs> how do you, yeah, how do you feel about clams? Let's the, the real question of the weekend. Uh, I feel like there's a lot of butthurt DKs. Uh, I don't know. They lost all half their savings. Uh, yeah, what's yeah. up? What's up? How was how was your match? Did you win? I'm so curious. Me and Tommy are actually in the middle of the game. You stole me, so. He's probably mad. We were looking for Cargos to give us a ruling, but we're playing Magic. Yeah. So that's what I'm, I'm when we end up I'm playing up soon. I literally, I have no idea. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. It's fun. We yeah. just finished a draft. So, yeah, we're all hanging out. Um, <laughs> what are you excited for TwitchCon? Huh? Uh, you beautiful I'm man. I'm most excited about seeing everyone that I feel like we've been friends with forever. And so it's nice to finally be with everyone. And then. Um, I got a handful of people I'm running into from stream that they said they would come. So that'll be fun, man. I'm excited to hang out with everyone that um, is normally supporting the stream. So it'll be cool. Yeah. Finally hang out with everybody. And it'll be it'll be nice to put a face to, to the name sometimes, man. That's the crazy. I'm, I'm so curious. Yeah. Every now and then, like, I feel like I've randomly been at, like, music festivals in, like, Hawaii. Or Random like people. I've been in 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 like I was in Cancun with my family and someone was like, oh, this is my name in the Twitch chat. I'm always in there. And yeah, I was like, no and I was way. like, what the? I was like, mom, look, I'm real. I'm no, it's a real thing. That's it's a cool. job. You know? Yeah, yeah, that's cool, man. I know. I feel like sometimes we're bigger fans of events like this and stuff than people watching all the time. So. Yeah. Yeah, like I ran into a guy one time. I was playing disc golf and it was the one time someone ran into me and he. I jumped in front of him on the first hole, and he was like, hey, do you stream on Twitch? Are you Graves for Days? And I was like, yeah. 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 And so I was like. I just remember that one time at BlizzCon, we were there, and some guy walked by, and he was like, <laughs> and said oh, my God, they even let Graves for Days in here? <laughs> no <laughs> way. Yeah. And Graves was hyped, though. He was like, yeah. I was like, they know me. Yeah. <laughs> so that was cool. Was yeah. So they, I ran into that guy. I was like, man, let me. You know, that's can so I get epic. a photo? So that was cool. <laughs> I was excited. That's man. like my thought too. I was like, can I take a picture with you? I think the first time that ever happened to me, because I was doing Overwatch League podcast, I was at the Dallas homestead, and we're walking by, and someone goes, "Yo, internet famous plays Bob." I was like, "Hey, hey, that's me." Thanks. <laughs> hey, wait, no, 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 come talk to me. No, 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 you, 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 yeah, you know who I am. Yeah, yeah let's hang out. Yeah. yeah. That's so cool. Yeah, it's fun. It's nice. We're in San Diego too. It's cool. It's a nice it's little vacation spot for a couple days. It's a great place to host. Incredibly beautiful. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah, <laughs> maybe we can get away and play nine holes. Oh yeah, yeah. We started doing IRL. Man, I started doing IRL streams because I got like a HelloFresh sponsor. Yeah. Um, and I actually 
it was kind of nice to change it up a little bit. And, like, I'm actually having a lot of fun with the IRL streams right now. So we played golf the other day and probably throw it. We play golf and disc golf. So maybe I'll start off the day and walk into the room and fire up WoW and play that for the rest of the day. <laughs> but change things up a little bit. But, yeah, I mean, I've been having fun with IRL streams. So that's cool. I'm always... Oh my god. Oh yeah, and we drained one on man under pressure too. So I took him out and we played nine holes together and I yeah. actually felt like I had an audience watching me. <laughs> like whenever I played in school. So I'm normally Wait, never are you clutch. really good? Are you really yeah. good at golf? Oh yeah. yeah, we had easy claps in the chat yeah. every time. No, but I actually Damn. I drained a putt from like fifty feet and it was it was crazy, dude. Oh my god. <laughs> from deep. Crix is hyping you up now. No, you're, you're, I mean and then yeah. I yeah, I had a really good, I made like three putts in a row, and everybody thought I was sandbagging them, and then I I didn't finish the last two holes, so <laughs> it varies. But yeah, man, it's yeah. it's been cool changing things up instead of just playing World of Warcraft all the time, but I think yeah. the streams enjoyed it. I've enjoyed the change up. It's been good. Yeah. That's, a, like, one of the things I, I've never delved in, and I don't know if you guys have, but the, the well, I guess this is technically an IRL stream. Yeah. I guess we're, I, we're, re we're alive. Yeah. It can't be. We're in real life. <laughs> but, like, I've always just, like, been, like, nervous to, like, not just be playing video. I'm always just playing <laughs> right, video yeah. games. Yeah, it's, like, your comfort zone. <laughs> right. You know what you're doing. Oh, have you ever tried? You yeah. realize that your real life isn't as exciting yeah. as your video game life, <laughs> yeah. you know? And then you're like, damn it, now i got to actually do things in real yeah. life if I want to stream real life, right? Mm -hmm. I feel like outside of streaming, for me, it's such a weird world because, like, my significant other is, like, Whenever she's not working, she's she's like, all right, we're at a concert, we're at a festival, we're going, and it's like I used to be a touring DJ for like a few years, so like it's always like, all right, we're just like backstage, we're on we're on stage, we're yeah. whatever, but it's like super loud. You'll never be able to like stream that loud. Yeah. It's and also if you pulled up like your phone and were streaming during that, I would be like. <laughs> what are you doing back here? You know, that's yeah. like, outside of WoW, it's like that WoW and the gym. Like that's all I do. I could, I could well, you could do Netflix. the gym stream. You know, I could stream watching Netflix. <laughs> people do that, right? People, I, I think people, I, I don't know if it's anymore, but yeah, it was they a thing. did for a bit. Like it was the big ones were watching. Like I mean, I think Stay Safe watched an entire season of Survivor, right? Oh yeah. 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 Did did Crix? Did you watch Naruto on stream or uh, DBZ Dragon Ball? Uh, Crix watched all of Dragon Ball recently. Bro, is like all of. Oh. Oh my God. A few, a few, like it was like two weeks ago or something. Crix, Crix tweeted that he got like a DMCA notification for a stream that was the next day. Yeah. Oh yeah. my oh, gosh. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh. Yeah, Lil, Lil Wayne is a sketch. I always feel like it's like, for me, I just assume it's Kanye and Taylor Swift, dude. That's It's just, for some reason, I'm like, their camps are the ones that are going to fuck you. Like, yeah. like they, they, they are the type of people that like, hey, don't play my music for free. Yeah. And you're just like, all right, then, all right, Kanye and Taylor Swift, I'd, I'd stay with. the distribution label that matters, that cares about it. Yeah. Can we give you already taking the nope. seat? It's coming. I mean, I'll, take, I'll, I'll sit down. Well, we I've yeah, been Craig's here. Do you want to hop in here? Yeah, Craig's. Yeah. Craig's, you want to jump on? Hey, Craig. Are you doing it? I, I uh, need to go, you I need to go win at uh, Magic the Gathering because I've been putting it off here, long hop enough. Hop in the mid. Yeah, I have to beat Sarth. Oh, you're right now. Oh, he's. Uh, um, Wes thinks he's going to beat me at Magic, and um, I will come back with an update in uh, about two, <laughs> in about two minutes. Two minutes? Less than most. Two minutes. Two minutes. Yeah, you know what I want, right? Who, if it's over in two two minutes, you better be apologizing. Yeah, that's. I'm way too used to that. Crix took my vape again, dude. Every time. Dude, Crix, dude, you gotta be careful. Yeah, every time. You gotta be careful. Crix will just drag, just jack that shit. Yo, he takes like I had a coffee earlier, Bob. In my, I had a coffee in my left hand and my vape in my right. And Crix comes up, he goes, "Can I hit your vape?" And I was like, "Yeah." And then he goes, "All right, can I can I hit that coffee too?" And then he takes the fucking coffee from me. Uh, welcome <laughs> like, to the show, Crix. How you doing? I'm doing great. How are you doing, my friend? I'm happy. I'm Let excited. me just tell you, Bob. <laughs> this is the best thing ever. It's, this this is pretty cool. Like this is, it's just. I mean, it's just a podcast making itself. Like I, yeah. I, I mean, I haven't and even just coming in and out. Yeah, and I haven't even had to host most of the time. You yeah. know, like I can just come over here and leave and come back and just it Honestly, gets made. You just have 
have the laptop up live streaming all day and just right here and then people can just come out and talk to the chat or whatever yeah, like they just yeah, have like a camera yeah, angle yeah. of the house no, do it. like in the corner so do it. you know that would that would that would be pretty cool yeah it'd be fun this is the first time we've ever been around people who are in in my real life, outside of gaming, no one knows anything about anything. They don't understand it. They don't even try to understand anything that we're doing. You know what I mean? <laughs> so this is dope because everybody knows what we're doing. You yep. I mean? yeah, and everyone just is equally down to shill for content and like do dumb shit. Like, <laughs> yep, it's cool. Like, Crix and I rode scooters this morning to go oh, get that coffee. So that was a we rode those electric scooters you can rent. They're like 15, Dude, 20. Yeah, I ride them the all the time. Yeah, yeah it was too. it was yeah, sick. Yeah. We were flying. We were flying. We saw the beach. Okay, so. I've ridden those. I've ridden them in in cities in Texas, California, basically everywhere I go. Atlanta, like everywhere that has them, I use them. Like I don't. I go downtown Kansas City, and basically I'll let Mel take an Uber to places, and then I'll take the scooter, mm -hmm. just because I freaking love it. One place I would recommend never doing the scooter, Paris. What? Paris. Everyone's already on one. No, Paris doesn't have like lines in the road. Like oh, they've just got six dangerous. lanes, oh. and people just kind of go wherever they want. And so, we're like trying to drive the scooters, and like first off, which you have to drive on the street. You can't. You're not supposed to ride them on the sidewalk. Yeah, well, and you and, and even if you did, the sidewalks in Paris are like crazy all over the place, cobblestone and all kinds of different things. And so you're riding on the street, and these cars don't care about you. I don't know what their laws are, but I'm assuming that they're allowed to hit you. Yeah. You know, yeah. so like. <laughs> I mean, it was the scariest thing ever. And then Mel and I decided to share one one night. She was like, well, I'll just ride on the back. Uh, no. Oh, no. No, we decided to share one because he said, we're definitely getting a scooter. And I said, I'm not fucking riding a scooter in this town, Bob. And he goes, all right, just get on the back of mine. And I was like, okay. Yeah, we bit it. So, yeah, we go about 15 feet. I'm like, see, we're doing good. Boom, we hit like a stone. And we both fly over. This guy comes over. And he's like, "You guys okay? You guys okay?" We're like, "Yeah, just a pride, just a pride, <laughs> just our pride." <laughs> yeah, here when you try to ride them, they don't even. If you get on the sidewalk at all, they just touch that down. They just beep 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 beep. beep, beep. I fucking love those scooters. Yeah. <laughs> That's the one thing bad about Kansas uh, Kansas City. They've got the little thing, and it's cool because the really good ones have a thing you can put your phone in now. Yeah. So right there. And so you can have the map that'll show you the red zones. So like if you get in a red zone, it just slows down to a crawl and you have to kind of walk it. But yeah. Well, Crix, tell us about your adventure uh, yesterday. Because a small thing oh, like man. going to TwitchCon was not going to stop you yeah. from raiding. Yeah, so I raided the Guild Fusion and we are a very hardcore guild in the NA side of things. And I had to do the raid for Race for Nax. But I didn't realize, I would have came down here anyway, but I didn't realize the timing of it. And then, of course, I'm on Benediction. So it wouldn't have been an issue. None of this would have been an issue if I didn't have queues. It's yep. only because I have queues. And the it's queues, horrible. by the way, are like 10 in the morning. It's like four hours or whatever, right? Uh -huh. It basically starts at like 9.30 yeah, well, right. a.m. my time. Yeah. So me and Cargos all – me and Cargos had the rate at opening, but he's on Skype here with no queues. So he's like, well, he's going to show up <laughs> at 3 and start, right? I, I mean, had to figure out how to do it. So we, I'm from Portland, and I come down to Sacramento to Cargos's, and then we drive from Sacramento down here. And, oh, you know, when on. you get about half Hold on, hold on, wait for the plane. <laughs> plane check? Once again, sorry. <laughs> but you probably want to hear this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, I, um, I just kind of watch the clock. It's, it's like a six, seven hour drive. And I'm just watching the clock, trying to like, st looking at, like asking, checking the queue, checking to call my wife, like check the queue, check the queue, check the queue. So it's, when it's at four hours, I can just get in it and then I'll have an hour or whatever. So I get in the queue with the remote desktop stuff from like Portland. So I'm queued into a state way up there. And we're just driving down, and I'm just hoping that I don't lose any service on my phone. I'm just like, oh, my God, this is like the, you know I what mean? I that was <laughs> stressful. Yeah, and the guild knew that I was down here, so I'm pretty sure they would have had a back of Warlock, but I was like, I don't want that. And I thought about it, too. I was like, yeah, they're not going to care. I was probably going to just tell them I can't come, but I was like, I need to be there, right? And, uh, yeah, they, I got lucky. The queue, like, the queue didn't have any issues with the queue. Got, I think I got disconnected, but I caught it. I just happened to look at my phone and caught it. Uh -huh. And then... Now we got to figure out where we can game because we can't check into the Airbnb until 3, which is when the raid launches. Yep. So now we're we're like, I don't know what to do. So I call an internet cafe down here, which is like a, a out, which honest. is, yeah, it's called Ultra Gaming in San Diego. It was super badass. Yeah. Um, but I call this guy and he's like, yeah, we open at 2. I was like, oh, is it, no, that's not, I didn't even ask him. I was like, oh, that's not going to work. Fuck, I got to be there earlier. He's like, oh, what time? I was like, like 11 or noon. He goes, oh, yeah, just come on through. He's like, what game are you playing? It's like classic or wow. And he goes, okay, yeah, I got you. And then, uh, yeah, we'll just wait for the plane again. <laughs> Yeah. 
Yeah, the Ultra Gaming place was dope. Yeah. But um, he's like, what game? I said, wow. He goes, okay, I got you. And then he, I remember him messaging me at like 1 in the morning. And then he's like, classic or the other one? I was like, classic. He's like, I already got it set up for you. And then we show up, and he's no one's there. It's two, like two, two and a half hours, something like that, before the opens, and he's just waiting out front for us. You know, boots the computer up. Already has add-ons on the computer. What he already had Chad, details. Dude. He had details, DBM, and like everything besides weak words, and they were updated. And I was like, dude, Damn. who was playing here? He's like, I have no idea. I was like, someone was here gaming, game, the item rack. They had every. I was like, dude, whoever was here was gaming, gaming. And I think I know because I was sitting there, and it was the nicest computer that was there, right? Because I was like, yo, I don't want to be bougie, but, like, I need, like, I can't have any. Because I was on one computer, and I'm in game just, like, sh farming shards before raid, and then it just shuts off. The computer does. And I was like, oh, oh fuck. Yeah. I go back to my remote thing, and I get in queue again. And I tell him, and he gives me the good computer. And then this guy walked in was a mad staring at me, like, when he first walked in. So I think I was on his computer, so I think it was him. But he, and he watched <laughs> me do the raid and stuff, right? So, you know, I, we get there. I have, like, an hour to spare, hour and a half to spare. Of course, we're in all in a guild meeting, like, an hour beforehand, just going over, at, uh, you know, typical stuff. And then it launched, and I had absolutely no issues. Although there was a boomy, and we're on Benediction, so there's no horde. And there was a horde boomy that was in flight path, flight form. And he would jump down far enough to get a typhoon off and then f bird again. <laughs> so he would knock anybody not off their mount off of Nax into the ground and die. And so Baron, my GM Baron, best raid leader in the world, he's like, yo, get, stay on your mount. Everybody stand, do not get to your mount. Of course, I'm like, mm, okay, I need to get my food buff. And I got up a mountain, he, he blew me off, but luckily the, the raid didn't start in time to do it, which is nice. Oh, yeah, man. but we did uh, the raid. We got World 3rd. No, I think World 4th, I think it was Beef Bar, Progress, and Space Wars got us by six minutes, and then we did it for Nax. And Again, though, Realm Chris. first, everything on all the raids on Benediction. It was fun. Massive it it. shout outs to Ultra Gaming yeah, in San Diego. Dude, dude there, there's a big streamer, like millions of subs, and she booked the entire gaming lounge yeah. for this whole week. 2.3 right? million followers. Yeah, and... uh. And that dude was like, I got you. Got everything going. Five bucks an hour. What? And he, he just... He's, he's just a passionate gamer. He, he's he lives a passionate up there, dude. too. He lives in the thing, too. It's yeah. like a little... Like a little yeah. So if you guys are it's ever... It's not that big. It's kind of a smaller thing, but it's yeah. like, it fits... I think I want to say there's like probably four, eight, twelve... Four, eight, twelve, sixteen, like twenty yeah. computers and three big TVs, and yeah. it was packed. People outside for hours. Yeah, and if you if you're ever in San Diego, be. Ultra Gaming, it was dudes. cool, man. It was a yeah. vibe. He's just passionate about gaming. He Very care passionate. About the money. Like, yeah. he, care. he lives there. He lives yeah. in that gaming lounge. Like, he sleeps there. He's a big VR guy, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah he's big on VR chat. Like in his room, it's mm -hmm. like pulley systems and everything for VR. Well, I bet he knows my boy Thrill uh, Thrill Seeker VR then. There you go. Uh, yeah. It's got a got a got a actually an event tonight. Are you gonna come? Where's it? At? Oh, that's what he was talking about when we were there. Probably that event. Wait, no, the guy. Wait, wait, which event? The VR um, event, the one that they posted at TwitchCon, or the one you told me about? The, yeah, there's two. There's one tonight, and then there's one tomorrow. But the one that Thrill's we, throwing is tonight. We haven't. What time is it at? Uh, it starts at eight. Uh, we have him. I have him. Is it a is a Blizzard thing tonight? We have a Blizzard the, dinner thing. The, oh, yeah, tonight's the, the talent agency one. Right? Yeah, the, I have a meeting. We have a, Me and Cargos have to go to the talent agency meetup. No, Liz and I are, sadly. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they only let us do plus one. I was like, oh, can we bring two? We, are you going to the Blizzard content creator uh, tomorrow, during, lunch yeah. tomorrow? Mm -hmm. Cool. Mm -hmm. You're my yeah. You're my plus one for that. My G Fuel plus one for his there you go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yep, we're going to get a G Fuel. Yeah, we'll be there tomorrow to meet. It's a dinner with all the Blizzard people, bro. It's gonna be a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Oh yeah. Good luck. So true. Did you guys raid yesterday? No, like there was no way we were gonna get into the the benediction, and I thought about doing. Yeah. Yeah, I thought about doing the, uh, like the remote desktop, and we could have done that, but I was thinking about was the, plane, the hotel. Though? Well, we 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 got back in time to do the raid because they weren't gonna do it till a little bit later. But uh, at that point, you're already well yeah. with the hotel, like the hotel internet. I didn't even think about using a. I think your hotel. Cafe. You have a nice hotel. I we were there last night. It was really nice. I think you'd be fine with it over there. Yeah, it's just it, uh, like hotels are hit and miss, man. They're they just are. hit and miss. But yeah, we we uh we just were like okay, but it turns out like I guess a lot of people in our guild got hit with the Q bug, and so. Yeah. Like it, it, I guess they were really slow. Oh, love one, thank you. Yeah. Oh, yeah, same. Thank you so much. Oh, wait. Yeah. <laughs> it I was for one. me, Bob. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. Am I your plus well, one? Because you, you only get drinks yeah. if I'm your plus one. <laughs> you, ha you have your own ticket. 
Uh, I'll take yeah, one please. of these guys. What's that? So. Kokona. K Kona. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I'm glad you came, bro. I'm so yeah. glad you did, bro. Heck yeah, Good dude. to meet you guys. I fucking love. I love. These are like my only friends. Are you guys, everybody here. <laughs> Literally everybody here besides like, I'm missing like Liz and like one other person. But Liz and her boyfriend are like the only two people like out of my people that I literally talk to all the time on Discord that are mm-hmm. not here. Dude, it's uh, it's crazy. I came to I came to I came to find you guys because you guys were at the the big boy partner party and yeah, I couldn't which get you into didn't that. Miss anything. Yeah. <laughs> that's, the, that's the party I mean. party wasn't. I mean, the only person there worth mentioning was like S fan. Like nobody and Bonnie, I like to meet. I like meeting him. It was nice. I got to meet Bonnie and everybody. Oh, yeah, S fan would be neat to meet. Yeah. He seems like a really nice dude. He is pretty cool. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, it was pretty cool. Uh, it was. Yeah, you didn't miss anything. I mean, we just walked around and just looked around. There was nobody really there at all. You, all the titty streamers are there. Every single one of them are there, looking <laughs> like they do on stream with like <laughs> barely fucking anything and sparkly shit. They look like strippers. Even the queen, Amaranth. I didn't see Amaranth. No. She usually is pretty. Like whenever she went to BlizzCon. If you didn't like know her face, you wouldn't recognize her because she'll have like a hat on and she'll be like completely. If like, I was Amaranth, I wouldn't come to something dressed. like this. I wouldn't come to something like this for Am- Amaranth. That's a little bit. I mean, she, she comes. I, I think to she'd make an appearance, but something like part. I don't think she would do that. But, like her, yeah, but she's way bigger than she was two years ago. Now it's like true, and she deals with a lot of fucking. True. Yeah, she has to have security. Yeah, it came. Yeah, it came down to what Austin. I think I is feel for her for the female, not just the females and streamers. That's in the whole world in general. But these streamers, they like. They're putting us. Even my, my wife is an Instagrammer. She's like a bigger Instagrammer, and even her, it's like I'm like, hey, make sure our address is nowhere because between me and you, I don't know if I piss off the wrong person, and you don't know if you got some creepy fucking people trying to find out where we are. You know, I'm not trying to kill somebody over a fucking Instagram reel. You know? I know, man. It's yeah, it's, it, it is a little scary. Like once you start getting like a certain amount of big, it's like, oh, I don't know, man. It seems like it'd be like too much. Yeah, it'd be scary. But uh, yeah, so. Yeah, so I came and found you, and then uh, I walked to the bar, and I'm talking to Tyrannosaur Weeki, and then all of a sudden, I just get picked up and spun around in the air, and I'm like, oh, Kriggs, what's up, man? I told everybody, I said, well, I'm hugging the shit out of everybody when they get here. <laughs> and I've done it every time. Every time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Got to do it. It's been, I'm a hugger. It's, yeah, me too, me yeah. too. I like to hug. Personal con, and it's the best time. This is the best time to do it because we literally have to pass a COVID test to be able to go here. So it's like, <laughs> hey, we're just the literal. Unless we get it here, this is like a literal perfect time to be up close, touching on people. Right. Literally, I hug people that I don't even know if I've met them yeah. before. You end up like, uh, okay, yeah, yeah. right. Oh, wow, like, like, uh, yeah. 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 yeah, all right. Yeah. She's probably the only one in this house that has hugged Jeff Kaplan. Whoa. Mm. Papa Jeff. Yeah, yeah, I just hug fucking everybody. I walk up to the S fans, like, I'm hugging him. He's like, uh, okay. Yeah. He's, he's like, puts his arm around me. He's like, all right, yeah. I'm like, yeah, yeah, it happened. Sorry, bud. Bonnie, oh, oh, come on in. Yeah, yeah, you're here. I, want to, I wanted to know, so, because if you know my name, which they do, I want you to be like, oh, he just fucking hugged me for some reason. <laughs> Although I didn't try to pick S fan up that time. Yeah. yeah. Didn't want to try to. I think I could. You could. But <laughs> as a man, do you like getting picked up? I don't, you know me. I don't mind it. Well, we know each other. Yeah, yeah. He okay. knows of me. Like, we've talked about it. Like, yeah, okay, good Imagine point. I'm just, you just some random dude, black dude, just comes up and picks you up randomly. And the thing is, what if I can't? And I'm just like, nah! <laughs> Fuck! I had uh, That's embarrassing. There goes my pride. <laughs> we, got a, we got a friend uh, named Death Blow. He used to do High Noon Podcast about the Overwatch League. And we went to, to Brooklyn for the grand finals. And he was like, I could throw you in the air at least a few feet. And I'm like... He's like 6'9". Yeah. Yeah, he's, I mean, he's like a, like a giant... And he's like a Vicarol, you know, like he's big. And so I'm like, I don't think so. We're in the subway and there's 12 foot ceilings. It's either 10 or 12. I almost hit the ceiling. He throws me so high and I'm like, and he was going to throw our other friend I play. uh, And he's like small, you know, small, small little guy. And so we had to be like, well, I guess you're not going to throw I play now. Because uh, that'd be a little dangerous since I almost hit the ceiling. <laughs> and I'm a big guy. I'm, you know, I'm 200 pounds, you know. Yep. Is that your stream that he's got? Yeah, he's just walking around He's with walking around your stream? That's awesome. IRL streaming. <laughs> I like it. It was more. So I did it the other day when I first got the cargo says We did it while we were eating. So I'm like, they never had crawfish. It wasn't a crawfish place. And then we went to the casino. And just to kind of test the audio and stuff when I get back. And it was fine. So I think I'm going to buy like a GoPro and like an actual backpack. It's kind of fun. I, just, nice. I don't know what I would do. I was watching some streamer. I'm just going to bite off her. But I was watching some streamer. Shout out Emma or Emmy. Something like that. And she it was mid-subathon. Oh. That's so dope. Yeah, it's the one that keeps it level. Oh, that's what the fuck I need. Yeah, damn. Yeah, turn it on. Show. 
How much was it? Oh man, I need Look that, that so bad. Are you kidding me? And it just goes straight to your Twitch too? No, you would have to you would have to have it hooked up to something else. But I don't know. The new GoPros might have something that just connects it right to it. Dude, I need that guessing. so bad. That'd be so perfect. Jesus, I wish it was easy to set up. Are you guys IRLing? No, no. Just we bought just, it for fun. Well, we bought <laughs> it case. for uh, doing shots of the Overwatch League and stuff. Like this is all of this stuff was for doing interviews with league uh, league league players. It's what we used to do before Classic stole us from Overwatch. But it was yeah, Overwatch's so fault. Have you, are you played, have you played OWB2 then? You, yeah, I play, no? well, I have. Do you like it? Is it good then? I've never I played like Overwatch. It. I played it a couple times, but I've always wanted to play it. But everyone keeps like, it, every time I, I played it a couple times, I'd get my ass smacked, which makes sense because I'm new to it, which is fine. Yeah, you got to know there came a moves. time a couple months ago where I was like, I'm playing either Valorant or Overwatch because I know Overwatch 2 is coming out. And Valorant's popular. So I was like, I'm playing one of these two, and we need to figure out which one it is. And everyone was like, Valorant, 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 Valorant. Valorant. So I chose Valorant. I think you, how's I, OW2 looking? Though? I think you chose the right choice. It's time will tell with Overwatch 2, but I don't, I don't know. I'm a like. I'm, I can tell because you were like, it's fucking amazing. I'm so, waiting you know for I mean? Overwatch Classic, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I mean, it was such a good game when it came out, and then uh, anybody that knows about it, Goats ruined it. Brigida coming in ruined it, and just then the the Overwatch League. During the COVID times, I know they had to change a lot of stuff because there was a lot of home stands planned, but they were just changing the rules every month. I mean, changing them in really big ways yeah. that were just swinging the things. And it was just, and I was really into classic and I was like, man, I'm quitting this and doing a classic podcast. I was just like, you, you got to yeah. do what you love, you know? So was your podcast, the all hundred whatever episodes, all wow? That's all wow? Warcraft Reloaded is? Or was it Overwatch and he turned it into Warcraft Reloaded? No. Oh, okay. No, no. Yeah, Warcraft uh, reloaded we started from scratch like I'll recap you can still find on podcatchers oh, recap. Okay, yeah. yeah so yeah, I, I mean, mean it's got Sark all the old stuff we're gonna have to talk when we're down here but we're, we're gonna try to take it to the next level with ours too cause they're a lot of fun oh, those dude, deep dives fucking drain those me, deep bro. dives those, are, those five, are nuts four, five, six hours sometimes episodes of classes I do not give a shit about I don't even play these classes yeah. so I'm just like <laughs> I got. I do. I do everything. I'm like, oh, I got everybody got here. Say. I'm doing the agenda. I reached out to everybody. I don't need to talk. You guys. I'm not. I don't. I get them on the show because you guys are the big brains. What do you need me to say? You know. Well, you just have to. Like what I do when I bring people on is I just listen to what they're saying and, like, sometimes I'll like write some stuff down, but I'm just listening for something that doesn't make sense or something I, I don't know. And I, some people aren't comfortable with doing this, but I straight up say. Well, I don't understand this. Can you explain this part a little bit better? And yeah. I think people at home appreciate that because that's the question they wanted to ask, you know? Yeah, and true. like, I don't. That's smart. If I don't know something, I don't care. I'm going to ask rather than just. Yeah, for the viewers you know. out there, what does that mean? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah that's Play smart. It on the listener. Yeah, Sartre's very good at that, so I'm lucky that he's well, my co. He's so good at fucking talking. It's like amazing. Yeah, <laughs> for instance, when Sarth was out here, he mentioned that for uh, Unholy DKs, the. Uh, the sh the sharpening stones were bis, and I was like, "Well, can you explain that? Because you can only put it on an item level 165 or higher, so you know, and just those types of things to kind of dive in, you know. But yeah. he, you know, talks about how your offhand it doesn't, it's just a stat stick, so it doesn't matter, you yeah. know. So it makes a lot of sense, you know. And so, yeah, those types of things. But your, your deep dives, I've watched every single one of them except for the Shadow Priest. Yeah. Because I just That's don't give one. a shit about Shadow Dude, Priest. Shadow Priest is so fun. It's amazing now. That's what I've heard. Awesome. Phenomenal. And it's one of the best scaling, one of the best scaling classes. But Warriors, I, obviously, mages, obviously. But, like, they literally get better as the raid tier goes. And the peak of ICC, they're f absolutely doing amazing damage. I don't know. There's something about Shadow Priest. I guess it's that their shadow form always turns off my cool looking armor maybe that's why yeah. i've always been yeah bob's like one of the only people i know that doesn't like the look of shadow form yeah like, it looks so dope i'm also one of the only people you know that doesn't like transmog you know so yeah true <laughs> like i mean i like i think transmog i've said it a million times i'll say it to you i think it'd be cool if you could toggle it on and off client side so like if i wanted it on for like some sort of competition or something i could turn it on not just like having it permanently. Yeah, because like I like to see, like especially like our uh, arena or B BGs. I want to see if they've got pumper stuff or That's if they're in point. blues and crap. You know, like, I don't mind. Tra I wouldn't mind transmog. I don't like it on retail. As a retail player. But that's because there's so many expansions of it. I think Transmog could be cool now just because it's only what we literally have just been playing. So, you're, oh, dude, he's using the Transmog from Tier 3 or whatever. I think it's going to be cool. 
Well, from what I hear, everybody in retail uses all the trans all the transmog from Wrath and before. Yeah, I, dude. Before, before transmog, classic, all my transmogs were literally tier five, tier five warlock stuff. My mount is Nightbane. Like it's been like that for years, bro. Well, and okay, so like basically, I think transmog made the the made Blizzard care less about making new cool looking gear. Yeah, like they're just like, oh, we don't got to do that. Okay, there was something I wanted to ask Cargos though. Cargos. So, okay. <laughs> What's up, chat? So, okay, something I wanted to ask you when you were on before because, and I didn't get a chance because you guys got into a, a really good converse, uh, con conversation. But how do you enjoy the the rotations in in Wrath? Because that's a big thing that changes. Like, a lot of us have a lot of cool rotations now. I've been wrong about a lot of things, maybe most things, but one thing I've said from the very jump is my favorite thing about Wrath is that the is the classes are just fun. Like, they're really fun. Just pressing your buttons is really enjoyable. Like, the, the satiety that you get from each global is higher. Higher than even vanilla, than even in TBC. It's very, very fun. It's, like, the, the best thing about Wrath for me. Um, so I, I've been enjoying the rotations to answer your question. Okay. And, and when's uh, Good Morning Azeroth coming back? Good Morning Azeroth. We had a good run. I don't know if anyone in the chat still remembers that. It wouldn't be the same without it's everybody It's ancient there. history, but yeah. we did have a good run, man. Shout out to Def Camp Melderon, wherever they are. Literally Much how love. I found Cargos was GMA. Yeah. We, we all would not be here. We literally all of us would not be here today probably without it wasn't for GMA. Yeah, bro. reunion tour one day. Cat lick a hype. Def um, Camp Melderon, you're not watching, but we love you. Yeah, so Def Camp is, you, you talked to him the other day, you said, right, he's, yep. he's taking a break from why he's stepping away, and then Melderon is uh, living the life of an L.A. socialite now. I'd never would have seen the day. <laughs> See, he's <laughs> such, a Philly, such a Philly boy. Um, so, yeah, probably no more GMAs, but we had a good run. Well, oh, that's a bummer, man. Some people don't know. For those that don't, Carlos is the GM of one of the best guilds, like top two, three guilds on Sky Fury. They got Realm first. OS 3D, and not just Realm first, what was it, like, NA first, NA first, SAR 3D, how does that feel? Yeah, maybe, I mean, it's been great, I haven't been doing much, though, like, that's the, th that's the thing I realized over time, you don't actually need to be, like, a big brain to, like, run a guild, you just have to do the annoying shit that people don't want to do, so, like, mm -hmm. you just get the Delegate. people together who do know what to do, and then you just kind of, like, you know, do the do the, the Janny work and put them all together, so, shout out to Abide, amazing raid leader, a lot of really good players. Abide, baby! There. I've just been, uh, my, my main objective is I'm trying to keep the gang together through Wrath and do so in a way that people aren't going to burn out. They're not going to, you know, because I've been known to burn out. So is Grays and a lot of people, right? Like, you've been pretty consistent with the though, Greg's like. Um, but yeah, we're just, we're, we're like, and we're also not setting the expectation unrealistically. Like, we just said 7 out of 10 sweat. Like, we're not going to PTR realistically. Yeah. Though. We're not going to do splits. Not a so. drip of PTR. Yeah. Maybe 70% of their raid has never seen any of these bosses, and they still did, fun like, I Thanks, was bro. still shocked. Yeah, I mean, I was yeah, crazy. It means a lot, bro. man. It means a lot. If you guys want to play on Sky Fury, we're still recruiting, recruiting people right now. Yeah, the Fresh Server is live. I know. I know. There's a lot of memes on like the Fresh yeah, Server and yeah. stuff like that, but it's Sky really Sky Fury, yeah, bro. cool, man. This Fresh Server, I play on it. It's an, one of my alts, and the, and the guild thugs with them. Shout out thugs in the chat. Hell yeah. But they, um, it it feels live. Like no matter what anybody says out there, if you're thinking about Fresh Bro, it's live as fuck. You, yeah. There's tons of people in the world all the time. Like yeah, it's not like you have no queue at all. No queue. You're yeah. just missing the queue. Like, there's no guilds kidding. always recruiting everywhere. Like, everybody's dogging these fresh servers for whatever reason. And you have world PvP. Yeah. Yeah, there's world PvP there. Yeah, and it's like, yeah, it's like, Yo, what is I it? Miss it. When I was telling Abide last night, though, Crix, this might be a bad take, but Bro, you were yeah, so, you, you, you were so happy completing that raid yesterday, and it was almost like the raid you always dreamed of yeah. actually happened yeah, yesterday. Yeah, yeah. For once, things worked out, yeah. and you did an amazing Because every job. time I was in my other guilds, we'd get that far. You know, top 10, top 10, and then we something would happen, and, and something it would, would go, go horribly bad. wrong, yeah. right? You and Abai yeah. got fucked over kind of hard in yeah. PDC, right? Yeah. That's what he was saying. So congrats on the push yesterday, yeah. man. You did it, bro. Yeah. We, we drove down from Sacramento, right? Every five minutes, this guy was having to touch like his phone to stay in queue on Benny. The whole way down. It was crazy, bro. It, we, in order for him to raid yesterday, it, it, it was like one of those... Um, Rube Goldberg machines where you hit a domino, then it hits a hundred other dominoes, then it hits like a you know a little seesaw and it flips a ping pong ball up and like so much had to go right for him to raid yesterday, and, and every it, fucking everything yo, went right. Shout out 
Carlos for driving. <laughs> Shout out my wife for making sure she had that remote view. I had to call my wife like 14 times. Like, yo, hey, babe, just sit by the fucking computer for a second, please. Yeah. What's my computer doing? Like, stay there. Okay, don't touch it. Don't touch anything on the computer. Just get away from the computer. Behind every like. sweaty DJ gamer is a well-adjusted, high su highly successful wife. Yep. <laughs> like, and remember that. You too. Chat, everybody. Can I say it again? Behind every sweaty degen gamer is a well-adjusted, highly successful wife. Yep. <laughs> we need them or we can't function. Well, uh, you have said we would... <laughs> there you go. Yeah, sure. Well, I she's wish. also very successful, too. So, But uh, you said we, we wouldn't be here. Now, Warcraft Reloaded probably wouldn't have been here because I remember writing you. I remember the first time I found... Uh, I, f I uh, found, because I didn't know I was going to be so into classic, but once I got into it, I started just eating up all the content that had been out for a while. And I remember seeing you guys on, I was like, I want to be on this show. And I did other podcasts, right? So I remember writing you, I was like, hey, I know you don't know me, like, but I am a podcaster. I'd love to come on your show, blah, 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 blah. And like, of course, you know, you didn't, you, you know, you didn't write me back. You know? But like, it, it was hilarious because I was just like, I'm quitting my other podcast. I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make a podcast, and then I'll get him on. <laughs> you know, and so we've and we've been trying to do that, but you've been so busy. I'm also just really notoriously bad at communicating. Like I get like behind on DMs. I get behind on DMs, and normal people would just like actually go through them at some point. For me, I I, I just like fucking anxiety. Ignore, I go ignore it all because it's just like going through each one and stuff. So it's a long time coming. I'm really glad to have met you though, bro. And um, yep. you know, definitely like congrats on the recent interview with Brian and all that, man. It's it, you guys are are 121 way, episodes, right? This is look look how high production value this is, bro. Like this is crazy, you, man. You, you didn't see it, but you should see their their self their stick, bro. It's like a, their their camera for live streaming. It's like you guys are doing it. Automatic smart. lever that keeps it. Like, There's one thing crazy, I've noticed bro. too. Blizzard Blizzard does pay attention to podcasts yeah. more so than just like regular streamers and stuff. Like we even got a little bit of shout out from Blizzard because of the Good Morning Azeroth. Yeah, it, they oh. they for sure know who you guys are and stuff, and like they're keeping eyes on you and stuff like that. So I think I think for sure. Well, what's great is the new uh, community. Okay, okay. Well, here. The, okay, so the new Blizzard co That's community mean, lead, right? Athelus. Yeah. He was one of the people that started, uh, yeah. yeah, so he yeah, yeah. knows podcasts, you know, and it's really cool to have that because, yeah, I mean, it used to be really hard to, to like, get, uh, oh, Mel, you got to turn it off. Yeah, it used to be really hard to get even press passes, you know, like, like, back, you know, back in the day if you were a podcaster, but it's gotten, uh, it's gotten a lot better, but yeah, let's get, uh, oh, did you get press passes? Did you get press passes for the last BlizzCon or for, or for this uh, Twitch? Uh, no, not for this Twitch, but uh, 2019 and 2018 got press passes for Al Recap, which was our podcast before, the Overwatch League Recap. Sweet. Sweet. Awesome. Yeah. Tactics and Tommy. The best speedrunners in the world. We need you guys up here. Here. Tag out. Yo, hey, we love you guys, bro. Hey, I'll let you do it. Always game. <laughs> Whoa, yeah. Tommy. Hello. Tactics, my friend. I know you Hello. guys very well. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if it, I'm pretty sure people watching know who you guys are as well. Definitely. How are you guys doing? You want to give a little short introduction on yourself, just for those that don't know who you are, Tactics and Tommy afterwards. Yeah, of course. So, I mainly speedrun in Classic Row. Um, been doing it since yeah 2018. Um, I started a Classic and then made my own guide, and then after we made some. Rested, we made a company and a guide called Rested XP. And Rested XP? Rested XP, yeah. Rested XP, yeah. the founders right here. Yeah. <laughs> and um, oh, code reloaded. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what we do full time now. Um, me and Tom have speedrun together on SOM launch. We managed to get first hardcore. And yeah, nowadays we just we still just speedrun. We don't do too much end game, a little bit, more, but more casually than most streamers, I would say. Yes, I uh, I'm Tommy Salami. I uh, I also speedrun classic while leveling. I uh, started streaming about three years ago, and then uh, Tactics wanted me to carry him in some like speedrunning competition, and that's how we met. What do you say about yeah. that? Well. To be honest, I'm pretty sure I carried him first <laughs> in the in our first hardcore community cup. So, wait, because he didn't know how to play Horde at all. Well, I I've gave you that benefit. 
I vaguely recall something with Hogger in one of these. Do you guys remember that? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you I do remember you, you when uh, Tommy over here on the SOM launch when he died 30 minutes in. We were like ahead of everyone, but he had to go and grief and, and die, so we had to delete and start over. And then, so funny, bro. and then the, the next two right hours, right he's like pissed <laughs> about being behind, like so pissed I when it's his own fault. It wasn't my fault. Listen, because we were playing in American servers, I actually used to help potion, right? And because of like the t the MS difference, I died. Otherwise, it we sounds been, like an excuse to me. No, what do you mean? <laughs> Listen, okay. So we went from being like a level ahead, 20 minutes in, which is insane, to behind like four or five levels still stuck one? in the yep. still yeah one still one yeah we still won I, I i think we might have still won if uh even if joker didn't die but maybe, it, but maybe barely but it was pretty embarrassing because cargos and grace they were ahead of us for like eight hours you know and until we catched up but we managed to catch up and then we we started speeding ahead so these gentlemen founded Rested XP, which uh, you are, if you're listening to this, you already probably know what it is. It is better than Zygors, if you're thinking it's not, it is. These two, they're humble. These are the, the best speedrunners that are currently playing Classic. Like, there's no one that's better than them. So, recently with the Lich King launch, you guys decided not to run yourself because you guys were helping LMGD out, who's a known streamer who got, what did he get, like, second? He got second? Yeah, second in the end. Uh, behind now. How was that? First off... Why did why why what made you both not want to race knowing that you, you guys have multiple for racing? What made you not want to race and why did you guys help him? I right, probably best that I start. So the way it started was I was gonna race and then LMGD contacted me and I found out I found this bug, a fishing bug where you could turn in like for like 12k XP over and over and you would get credit like three four levels. Like the engine parts yeah, or yeah, yeah, I found that and. Then I told LMGD about it because I didn't want to farm it. And then he started farming it. And it, you would have to spend like, we're talking like 20, 30 real life days to prepare for I this. I think he said he farmed like, how long did he farm for? He farmed, he farmed hundred weeks oh, yeah, yeah. He straight. Farmed, didn't yeah, stream, really like rare. stop streaming and everything and just hard farm. Yeah, f like 15 hours a day for like weeks. And then, but, so basically I didn't want to do that. And then we decided to go with LMGD and then we just ended up continuing it after it was fixed. So that was the reasoning that we ended up helping LMGD, uh, at least the main one. And he, uh, we also wanted to do like a, a partnership with him uh, during the um, during the race. So a lot of uh, us at RXP, so me, Tactics, Calamity, um, Stillo, Stillo, that's it. And we also, uh, I said Calamity, right? Yeah. And uh, and Cuddlebro, and we all like grouped up to uh, to simp him all the way to 80 with uh, the strat that he came up with, with uh, with his characters. And I mean, we had to level Warlocks as well, which was extremely fun, but... He geared them up, it was his goal. I know a lot of you guys watched it, so you guys saw how they had a raid of people. How was that? So how did that work? You guys had like 20, 20, see like two different raids in yeah. different spots and were summoning, go over like what you guys were doing exactly. Uh, okay, uh, okay, so we had like 30 accounts or so, um, and we had like, Calamity was playing on nine accounts, so she would lock in. Uh, we bought like 60 wall, no, level 70 warlocks, so they wouldn't acro mobs from far away. So she had like nine level 70 warlocks that were like from the boost on f completely fresh accounts, and she would be tabbing between all the accounts uh, to summon us at different spots. And then we had something called dead bodies, that's what we call them, uh, which is level ones that makes you into a you're basically in a party with them and you get bonus XP when they're dead and they are near you on the ground. So they, they follow, they will follow LMGD around and he will get 20% 20 20 more XP from mobs. So we had, we needed 12 accounts with dead bodies that also walks around. Real quick, I get asked this a lot, but um, how does that, why does that work? Is it like a, f because you have five man party, you get more experience or? Um, yeah, ima okay, so imagine that when you level in the open world, you get bonus XP um, from being in a group, but it's divided by the amount of people in the group. So if you're four, you'll get like 1.4% of the mobs experience divided by four. But because the dead bodies are dead, they, they don't get the XP, yeah. and then LMGG will get the XP. Uh, for some reason it's reduced a little bit because they're level ones, but they ha you get the most from the level ones, and then you just end up getting w like 20% extra XP throughout the entire race. What do you think? It was difficult. Like the amount of uh, 
oh, what's the word, A coordination required because of how taxing it was on all six of us having to work with all of these accounts. We maybe lost about 45 minutes to an hour in the end from just like, you know, lack of practice for certain things and it just being extremely difficult to do that, um, yeah, ultimately we lost the race that way, but. Which, that leads to my next question. What, you guys were manhandling for until I think like what, 77? And then now, shout out to now from Echo who won, he just crept ahead. What was it that, was it his spot or was it like you just said with the time though, with the 45 minutes or whatever? What happened when, what was, what happened that made him go a little bit ahead and what were you guys thinking? It, it, was, it was a combination of, um, by that point we were less practiced so we never did a, a full 70 to 80 practice run and you know we did we weren't like versed in doing all the summons back and forth because we couldn't prepare that on the uh, on beta um you know the dead bodies and why didn't you guys do that i feel like you were, were you just confident that you guys were gonna do it did you not expect nobody expected now to do that period but it was theoretically very sound we were, were expecting like two million xp an hour one mob per second like you think how how is anyone going to beat that and then um ultimately we we lost out toward the end because we slowed down due to that lack of practice that lack of being able to do anything on beta um and just like general tilt from getting a bit worse so the reason we couldn't do it on the beta was because we needed like 30 accounts and we didn't have 30 beta accounts so we couldn't practice it um <laughs> So we just ended up testing all the spots without summoning. So we would like fly around at level 71, at level 72, testing every spot, f finding out the XP power. But we had not practiced like summoning coordination between us. Uh, we had talked about it in theory, and that's what ended up going a little bit wrong, especially at the start. And then also when we were doing Sholosa, we had not practiced that either. Well, that was still fun to watch. I had a lot of fun doing it. I really did. I was crazy. I, I, I remember thinking... Everybody kept asking me on stream, it's like, who do you think is going to win? And, and people were like, LMGD. I was like, I love LMGD. He's my homie, bro, but there's, he's not winning. I was like, there's no way he's winning. I was like, Tactics and Tommy are going to win. One of them are going to win. Whoever of these two are going to do it are going to win. And then once they're like, yeah, he's with him. I was like, oh, I think Carlos told me he's, like, he's with helping them. I was like, yeah, they're winning no matter what then, bro. That's yeah. big brain stuff. It wasn't streamed though, right? Yeah, you guys didn't stream it till the end. Until we, like, for a we, while. Yeah, we hit until level 76 it was because we were afraid of being stream sniped oh, yeah. more. Yeah, people would have like just came to the spot if they were on our server. People would have um, briefed us intentionally and like messed around with the mobs, and that would have just like killed our XP per hour compared to um, you know Now's method, which was a lot less easy to grief. So with Now, it was really easily griefable because he's at the same spot, so he didn't stream until 79, 90 percent or something. Um, I also think if he started streaming, other people might go over there and try it. So yeah. it made sense that he didn't and. W the second we started streaming, we actually had a, a griefer like try level two that somehow got to Outlands and trying to go to us and pull them up before he, he would be listening to our stream when we we're gonna get summoned to the spot, and then you pull all, all the maps away uh, from the spot. So that lost us probably ten minutes or something as well, um, but not much you can do against that. Well, you guys did fucking great, bro. And you know I love you guys. I mean, we still got second, right? Yeah. And this it's not the worst. It's That's amazing. We still did respectably second well. Second by a good comfortable lead. The third didn't come in for a while afterwards. Yeah. yeah. My uh I did we did the method race and my cat my shift was last. So it was right when like LMGD finished and I was like, damn, I missed the two guys that did it. But that was still so fun to watch. I mean I, if if there was like anyone I'd uh, I'd shout out during the race, it would probably be Yam. He, uh, he was on the Fresh Sky Fury, was it? Mm. And he, uh, DK 70 to 80, it took him like 18 hours. It was an EU one, uh, the Fresh... What, Maladath? Yeah, it was an EU Fresh server. But he was on a Fresh and he was like 4th or 5th overall. And he did questing, that's pretty insane to yeah, be honest. Yeah, he quested like, on a, a DK he 70 to 80 in like 16, 17 hours? He it did a, a little bit of seals as well, which is that dynamic respawn that's in Howling, in case you don't know already. Um, yeah, that's really broken. And yeah, he, he did doing that seal thing now, too. Yeah, yeah, it, it, it's become meta for sure. Uh, you can, like, what some people don't do still is the dead bodies. The, everyone can get 20% more XP by if they have four accounts and they get some level one summoned over to Northrend. Yeah, a lot of people were mad about the dead I so, so I knew about the dead body thing and I was going to do it before. I wasn't going to try to go for like world first or nothing, but I was going to try to go for like a realm one. 
did not even get remotely close. I did not even like once I figured out how to do the event, I was like, yeah, I'm not even gonna do the body thing. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I had to level my second warlock, and I'm gonna do the seal the whole time. Middle of the night, seal grind my face off, and I can't wait. Yeah, the, the crazy thing, you, like that you could do with this with the dead bodies is it doesn't matter where they die. So you can die in. They, you can let the four b dead bodies die like at a random spot in Howling, but the, and then they just have your own slash follow the issues. If you go on Mount, of course, you're gonna go away, but you're always gonna get the experience. The only thing that matters is that the ghost is near you, not where the dead the body actually oh, dies. Wow. So you can you can actually use this for questing or yeah or grinding or anything. Now you guys are known objectively as the you know some of the best speedrunners. In terms of raiding, are you guys are you gonna raid? Are you excited to raid? I know you guys aren't big raiders. I know you're. Are you raiding with thugs? Are you gonna be raiding? Uh, well, I'm not even level 80 yet on uh, on on that server on Skyfury. Yeah, <laughs> I, I'm level 60 right now. I'm considering to do some raids casually uh, on Skyfury, probably with thugs as well. But I haven't really fully decided yet um, if that's what I want to do. Yeah, I uh, I'm planning to raid with thugs now that you know with uh, the launch being done we have uh, a little bit more time lucas and i i uh, i want to level one to 80 on that fresh and play with thugs if i can oh, the server's locked what do you play no it's not locked what do you play by the way oh wait sky Fury is locked but they should unlock it soon because it's no cues at all right? yeah or nothing. we didn't ask but what do, you, what do you guys play uh i am going to be maining either a paladin or a shaman in uh in wrath uh spell hunts or holy paladin Spell hunts, uh, shaman. Yeah, I'm gonna be playing rogue like always. I always raid as a rogue. Yeah, the original yeah, yeah. I've been playing rogue since yeah, always since classic launch, and I'm gonna continue that. That's always gonna be my my in-game character. Yeah, uh, like I actually don't mind being a little bit hated. I actually <laughs> think it's fine. <laughs> I don't mind being a little bit douchey yeah, yeah, either. I would ask some questions. So, basically, uh, I think it's cool being a little bit hated. I also don't mind, like, if I'm on a PvP server, if I see someone near my level, I will PvP him. Even if he finds it annoying and I, I kill him, it's it's part of the game. Otherwise, why are you even on a PvP server, you know? Like, and I see a lot of people really complaining about this. Well, th I mean, there's... What I love about PvP servers is there's... There's certain times where you'll be, you know, you're trying to get something done. You see someone else trying to get something done. And you kind of like, we're going to be cool for now. And mm. that's a choice, mm. you know. And I, and, I, and, I, and I like that. But then somebody breaks that choice, you know. And then you camp them for a while, you know. It's yeah. Like, it's, it, the, you know, there's tears to it. And that's what I love about it is that, like, you know, like, there can be different things, you know. But, yeah, I definitely love world PvP and I'm stuck on Benediction. Horrible. So when people k kill me, I'm like a little bit. I have too much revenge in me as we were regarding this. Like if someone kills me, I'm a rogue. I'm gonna find the guy and kill him three times because he killed me once. That, that's it's not acceptable. <laughs> she gets so mad at me. Here, come in here. So, Baba wastes so much time trying to find the person that killed us that we will like waste two hours of him trying to hunt this person down. And I'm like, we could just go quest. They're fine. Like, they're not going to come back. Yeah, I have to be plus one before we leave. And the times that I'm not able to do that feel really bad. Like, I remember there was this Pratt Pally this one time. I'm on, I'm on my rogue, and I kept trying, and he kept killing me. And I was like, well, I finally just have to admit defeat and move on. <laughs> it was great. But, okay, so... You guys, I freaking love Rested XP. Before you even sponsored us, like, the first time I tried it was in, uh, was I was doing hardcore, and I was like, you know what? Because I was always against guides. I was like, no, I've got Questy, that's fine. I tried it, I started going on it, and I second guessed it so many times, and just found myself going, I should have just believed in the guide because I would go no I'm turning this in now and then I would realize why you guys didn't have us turn it in then and like these different things and like you'll have us go do one quest but not do these others that are right there too and then I realize oh it's because we're picking up two more that are done in that same area like how do you guys come up with like those different plans well, uh, it's it's a very difficult thing. So for me, how I started, I started in, in 
2000, well, actually early 2019, like January or something, half a year before launch, and I would just open every single quest in every single 30 to 40 zone if I'm doing that. And then I'll I will look at w what quest, I would almost make like a, a map on what quest leads to other zones, and then you would look at all the quest lines and just make sure that when you're in an area, you want to be in this quest. Um, and then the, the more you play, the more you, you notice smaller details if you know the entire quest line in your head. Um, like recently, I was playing the Alliance Guide and I noticed that I was doing one mistake that the Alliance Guide had with like some tigers where you could actually save a little bit of time by doing like one of the quests earlier and then you do all the other three instead of doing all three at the same time. So there, are, there will always be things that you don't know or don't notice. But the more playthroughs you do, the the better the routing will be, just based on that. Um, okay, so also, I just want to just like shout out a thank you for the little notes that'll be in. Like, uh, I used to just kind of like look at like the objectives, and then she was like, "You need to read the notes." And reading the notes is really good because it says, "Hey, don't focus on this quest." And the reason, you know, I've figured out a lot of the sometimes you say the reason but like when you say don't f don't don't focus on this quest it's usually mobs that you're going to you're going to get done with that quest before you get done with the other objectives so like why mess with just grinding those mobs i love that thank you yeah that's a uh, something that tommy like does a lot of uh, he's doing a lot of the detailing out things and um, yeah, improving all those like like just the guide itself. Just he he has this mentality that you should be able to f just follow there, nothing else. And I think she doesn't even use questy. Yeah. At all. <laughs> yeah. Well, I always tell Bob, and he's like, "How did you know to do that?" And I'm like, "It says it in the text right here." Like he just. Yeah, I read it now. Read it, like as soon as it comes, I'm like, okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, yes, I. I have like extremely high standards for the guide now. I want people to be like, the arrow is always there, no matter what. They just have to follow the arrow to get exactly what they need. So I make sure that that's always updating for, you know, if someone's already there and they've killed all the mobs you need, it's not just statically pointing you there still, despite there being no mobs, it will point to another area where the mobs are. As well as, you know, giving descriptions of, hey, talk to this person if you want to turn in this quest, so people just, you know, can slash target or I, I think we added a, a new macro for it or something where um it automatically targets the step person on the step. Uh, yeah. Well, <coughs> also, I don't know that you guys like say this a lot, but you've integrated uh, unit scan into it. So, yeah, li like we're, we're working on implementing unit scan right now. It's just a macro that so when you enable it under your macros, there will be like a. Uh, you can basically drag it down to the bar, and then when you click it, it will target the, the, the mobs. And it will say in chat whenever those mobs, like whenever you're on a step where we have a mob like this. But uh, the plan is, and I think we'll have this within three months, is just like Uniscan, you will have a, a sound, and we'll, we'll probably have multiple sounds instead of it just being one static, uh, where you can pick a sound and it says that, uh, like Bing or whatever, whatever it could be. Uh -huh. uh, so you can hear whenever you're near, near a mob that you need to kill. Um, that's a hard to find mob. It's not something we're gonna have for every mob. Yeah, well, it like, I yeah, I love it. I see you guys like, you know, when the quest comes up, you put the mob on there, you know, and typing the name out is the biggest pain in the butt for those types of quests. So y you just turn it on, and then as soon as you kill the guy, you guys, your quest, uh, are, like, like rest and turns it off. But you're saying you're working on making your own, so you won't even have to have. Yeah, yeah. Skin. So, yeah, oh yeah, we, al we already have it in integration with Uniscan. Um, but what we want is, like, most people that use Rested XP, they don't know about the Uniscan integration. It's not like, unless you watch our streams or you have heard it from another like, Rested XP user, y it's hard to find out that that integration even exists. It's something we added because we want to be fast at speedrunning and it helps us. Um, but we want everyone to be able to, to, to have that. So we want to, like, we're making our own version of it right now. Awesome. Yes. Um, Mel, do you have any questions? No, I don't think so. Oh, yeah. I'd, I'd freaking, I've wanted to have you guys to talk to you guys about this for so long, and now I'm blanking on all the <laughs> questions. See, normally <laughs> when I have guests on, I have, you know, I take the time before I get all yeah. the questions down, and but, like, this has just been, like, rapid-fire machine gun. What, what 
can I think of that I wanted to ask about rested XP? I don't know. Well, shoot. I don't know. Is there anything you guys want to talk about? Uh, like, no, I have a okay. question. Why do I have to run by quests that I can turn in? <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. That drives me crazy. Uh, that's, egg? Uh, that's something I want to answer. Um, <laughs> so we in the old guides we wanted um for like vanilla usually and the tbc stuff we wanted people to go in like the exact perfect order for um turning everything in and it would be step by step so turn in at this guy in town then turn in at this guy in town turn in at this guy in town the problem with that was is that sometimes people would veer off track and they would turn in the third quest we want them to turn in for uh the third quest i want i they would turn in the third quest that we wanted them to turn in first. And because of that, the auto turn in wouldn't work. And then they would get confused. They'd be like, oh, is this in the guide? And then they'd go back to the first one and they'd come back and they would get confused. So now we try and put every like accept and turn in in a town on the same step in the same area. But the arrow points to the most efficient route. And uh, for maybe I misunderstood the question or maybe I didn't but uh, often we will not have you turn it in if it's like a 15 second deep it like, like like you'll lose 15 seconds because you're going there later anyway so it's like you're right next to it and yes you can walk <laughs> into the city and it'll take you 20 seconds and then 20 seconds back and you feel like oh I want to go turn this in but we know wh why would you you're losing 40 seconds going back and forward and you're going to go to the city and there's no follow-up quest we know there's no follow-up quest. there's no point doing it so we just send you out f quest another 20 minutes you come back and then you turn in everything and you save 40 seconds from doing that that is uh, a big reason why we, we do it yeah and go back i mean i absolutely loved it because until rested i never actually did so many of the quest lines the long ones because they were like all over the place, like in, you know, seven different zones across like Azeroth. But you guys will do the thing where you're like, okay, now stick these items in your, your, your bank. Cause you're not gonna, you're not, you're not gonna need them for a while. And then you come back and you end up getting all those long quest lines done throughout. And I thought that was really neat too. Um, okay. But what the other question was, um, who came up with the idea to remind people to delete quest items you don't need? Because that's awesome. I think it was all of us, really. Like, we eventually just, like, found out as we were, like, going through the uh, the guide for the first time. We were like, oh, God, we have all these items in our bags, and we don't need them in our bags. You know, like, library script, uh, sample of injury and more, you know, all that kind of stuff stuff that people don't need where they instead need room for trash to like sell to get their mount money and um yeah yeah but uh but yeah then we just figured we could come up with a command for it that checks hey does this player have this item in their bag if they do tell them to delete it and then objective completes yeah, I think uh, Saren has made a lot of those things as well especially the bang things and destroy um cuz he like he really wants a clean bag so he can maximize how much gold he gets. So he always sends you to the bank and deposit and withdraw and all that. Cool, cool. Well, I think that's all I got, unless you guys got something else. Thank you guys so much. Yeah, I don't think I have anything else. Do you, Tommy? Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I have nothing. I'm brain's empty. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a joke? <laughs> oh. I'm Put, you. I'll launch. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, thank you so much, guys. Thank you for having us. Yeah. yeah. Thank you very much. All right. Yeah, we're getting Duran. Okay, we're back. We've had one last thing that I forgot to ask because my brain is just all over the place with everything going on here at, at TwitchCon, but Rested XP has a gold guide that we have to talk about, and I'm going to have Tactics explain a little bit of what it has, and I might have a couple questions. Yeah, so, uh, well, the, the general idea of it is you'll create your character and then based on your character and based on your gear and, and basically everything that your character has, class... Your it, professions. Yeah, yeah, professions, everything. It will create, like, gold farms and items you can sell in the auction house just purely based on that. And then you can 
relist um, or, or craft the, the things from your profession, strand money, or you can find the best gold farm specifically for your class because every class will have different type of gold farms. Some can even solo dungeons and, and things like that. Yeah, and like the coolest thing is that you 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 really like craft it to that person's everything and therefore you know if they feel like farming that day they can do that if they feel like just crafting while they're you know on the second monitor while they're working from home they can do that and it's up like i don't know how often it updates but it feels like it's at least every 15 minutes checking the auction houses and current prices yeah on each server yeah I believe it's every 30 minutes. Uh, sometimes the data comes a little bit slower from Blizzard, so, but, but we are checking from the data that we can get every 30 minutes and then we are updating it based on the live auction out prices on each server. Um, and then we're also creating, like, looking into what actually sells on the auction house. If it doesn't sell very well, we'll give it a low star so people know that if you, you shouldn't craft too many of these because you might be stuck with them in your inventory for a little while if you do. Yeah, because some things, for anybody that doesn't play the auction house a lot, some things you don't want to, like even if it's selling for a lot, the market just, it, you're not just not going to sell that many. And in the time that you're holding on to it in your bags, it could go down in price. So, you know, it's a really good thing to like give the, the numbers of like what you should craft, you know, because just because something's going high doesn't mean you can make 1,000 of them and mm. still make, you know, still sell them all. Damn it. No, I have a question really fast. Okay, so I use TSM, or I have used TSM, mm -hmm. right? So tell me what makes this so much better for specifically for the crafting, right? And how it's an improvement to the TSM app. Yeah, well, first of all, TSM is a great add-on and they they do have a lot of things and they have the, the data themselves that only they have, which is definitely a plus just to make clear <laughs> like like TSM is, is actually a really good thing and uh, if you set it up properly it, it, it can be really really good but um, the, I would say what the main advantage of professions is the how easy it is to see what to craft and you don't have to set up the time like setting up all the items that you want is it, it, you can do it in TSM it's just gonna take you 30 40 yeah. hours uh, like with each specific item meanwhile mm -hmm. Uh, we know exactly what items will sell and we'll, like you might be missing like different items because we'll include leveling items and other things like that that you would not never think about uh, yeah. crafting so you you won't miss the items and um, you can see the profit margin instantly mm -hmm. and you can see how likely you are to, to, to sell it yeah so it takes out all the like learning curve that you have to do yeah. with TSM because I think there's like very few people that actually know all of the intricacies of TSM this and it's hard. it's a really big learning curve like you have to put a lot of effort in to be able to use it as effectively and this sounds like it just does all of that effort for me yeah that's basically what it does and then we have the the gold farm which you obviously can't find anywhere else mm -hmm. uh, what a lot of people don't know is all the gold farms that we have both the mining routes herbalism routes daily quest guide you can uh, just by downloading the free rested xp uh, get, uh, on uh, on Curious Forge or anywhere else you can you can f you can get all the routes for free you just switch to the gold assistant it's free for everyone so you if, if if you're interested in trying our daily route you, you can just go download the rested xp and, and switch wow nice nice that's awesome yeah it's, it's yeah i when i first when i first heard about it i was like this can't be this can't be real and it is real it's real <laughs> it's real. and it's it's the the site is graphically appealing too, which is nice. And guys, it is a a monthly charge. You could do you could do you know thirty days, or you could do month recurring. You could do a year. You get discounts based on how long you do it, just like any sub subscription service. But it kind of has to be a subscription service, right? Because you're constantly changing it. Yeah, we have a we actually have a guy now that works full time on just uh, updating guides and. Right now we're missing some dungeon farms, so that's the next thing that he's going to do. He's going to start looking into every single dungeon farm that's possible. But Blizzard is changing a lot of things like very fast too. Now Karasan suddenly has five raid logouts, I believe. So mm -hmm. that rogue farm that we were thinking about adding won't work anymore. And th so you, you, can, you, need to con con you need to like do a lot of research and 
You also need to find the people that actually know how to do the farms like efficiently, or you need to spend a lot of time yourself learning it. Or, and you also need a character. Like if, if there's a farm, a dungeon farm on a paladin, on a rogue, on a uh, mage, it, it can be. It can take a lot of time to actually get the data and making a guide on how to do this uh, for the customers. Yeah, it is a lot of work, and I do like it. Yeah, well, then they change it. Yeah, like <laughs> when they came out with uh, with with what's it called, uh, Joyous Journeys, and you guys were like, ah, we gotta we, we gotta fix the guide up. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that was so much work suddenly. It's like, oh, in, in two to four weeks, that's what we were, we, they estimated. Um, they, they said a few weeks, so we estimated two to four weeks, and we had to make a 50% guide that would be good. Um, the, it ended up being good, but we had quite a few bugs because it's impossible um, to like make the... Like make it bug free in in just such a short amount of time. But what we wanted was a, a really fast route that was just going to be efficient for the 1.5 percent. I managed to do that in time. And then throughout the weeks, we managed to to remove all those bugs. Um, yeah, that's awesome. That's awesome. Well, thank you so much for talking to us about this. And guys, uh, our code is reloaded. You'll find the you'll find it in the dis the description. But most of your cla your favorite classic streamers and and creators have their own code. If you want to support anybody else that you like more than me or Mel, then go to them. They're going to have a code, and you can use that. But whatever you do, get the guide. It's so cool. I can't live without it now. And, yeah, thank you so much. Thank you. All right. Duranosaur, you want to hop in? Anybody hey, everybody. Hop in? Welcome to the show now, Duranosaur. He was just, uh, you know, anybody who just was, hanging out. yeah, anybody who's watching, he's just been eye, eye candy for you to check out while we've been sitting here. But uh, welcome. Is this your first TwitchCon? This is my first TwitchCon. Yeah. If all of them have been like this, I feel like I've missed out a ton. Well, I think it's the cons are kind of like. You did it right the first time, doing this big house and everything. I mean, it, like, the cons are who you're seeing there. And I remember yeah. the first time we went to BlizzCon, it was really cool. Second time we went, a lot cooler. Next time we went, really cool. Last time we went, epic. I mean, because it's like, it's kind of like, you know, like, like, like freshman year or, you know, yeah. or, a new, or a new family, you know, they're like, you're up. You're upgrading friends. A to new cousins. family. <laughs> well, you know what I mean. Like, how, how often does that happen? You <laughs> get new families every couple of years, well. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to explain it. Like, you keep leveling up because you keep you keep meeting more people, yeah. and then it just becomes more and more fun. And then your your gatherings are more and more fun, and you're ex you're, you're excited to see these people you haven't seen in a year. And it, it's just that's how it works. But you did it. I mean, oh, man. you jumped to Epic right off the bat with this crazy this house. Is, yeah, I think we have like 14 or 15 people in here, and it's all classic WoW. So the it's kind of almost, there's like one negative side to it that's like when we actually go, when we like went to TwitchCon and did stuff yesterday, it was like, oh, who are we going to see that we know? And we're like, oh, we're living with all the people <laughs> that we were like excited to see and get to know. So, Wait, I have uh, to know, does somebody live there's like a brown little like like shed. right here no 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 like a shed next in front of it oh i don't know that'd be great i don't know i was hoping somebody got the shed maybe <laughs> there's like multiple buildings a uh, part of this airbnb i don't even know i haven't even been all in all of them i've been here like a day and a half i don't know what's going on <laughs> Yeah, there's. I mean, there's. There was even a bed in the garage that had like, <laughs> that had like shower curtains that went yeah. over it. Oh yeah, we're uh, packed in here. It's good, dude. It's 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 been really cool. Yeah. So, oh, so what are you excited about going in like going into TwitchCon, which we we probably need to go to pretty. Oh, soon. Oh yeah, we do need to go soon. Um, honestly, it's like I said, it's like I'm I'm already with all the people. That I feel like I wanted to meet. Uh, we did get to like see and meet some cool people yesterday. Like we said hi to S fans uh, and Liquid Max um, and some other some people outside of the WoW community and stuff. And that was like that was super fun and cool. I think today it's gonna be like checking out the different booths and stuff. Like so, I don't know. Personally, it's gonna be kind of interesting to see like the sponsorship or partnership opportunities like go to different booths and see because like i as someone who's like not a big streamer or anything like 
I don't know what's out there. Um, and there's going to be tons of those types of booths. Uh, there's like, there are a few presentations that seem pretty cool. Um, of just like, are you a growing streamer? Is it a hobby? Is it a profession? Um, how do you implement and use like music as a part of your stream? Like there's a bunch of different stuff that you can just like jump into and watch a presentation uh, and probably learn from um, as well as just like networking and ne stuff. Networking is big, man. Yeah. I think t uh, tomorrow we're doing, there's like a wow content creator luncheon. Yep. I think both of you will yep. be there. Yep. We're good. Um, I'm really excited for that. Cause like there's members of the classic wow team who I've, I've chatted with over like Twitter or discord and stuff, but I'm going to be able to meet them in person as well. Yeah. And those are like heroes. Like they heroes. make, they make the game. Um, so yeah, just, it's just the people. It's all, hey, it's, Silver. it's all the people, uh, that makes this so fun and exciting. It is. It is definitely. And, uh, I mean, we're going to get to meet people there that, you know, we haven't met, you know, because yeah. like we don't know all of the, you know, wow content creators, you know, True. it's going to be, it's going to be neat to like see them. Oh, here comes another plane. We don't know everybody. <laughs> nope. I mean, we know everybody that matters, of course, right? Yeah. <laughs> so, um, so, okay, what about raids? Because some people got to raid, some people didn't. Did you get to raid? I did not get to raid yesterday. I got off the plane and I immediately got into the queue on Feralina. So I got off the plane around like 1 p.m. My guild decided to just raid it at a normal time on Thursdays, which was 5.30 p.m. So I had four and a half hours to get through the queue and I did not come close. Uh, yeah. I, w I, had, I had two hours plus remaining by the time they started the raid, which it kind of worked out because there was TwitchCon stuff going on, but right. yeah. Yeah, we did the same thing. We Well, we got off the plane at like 3.30 and we were gonna raid, I think at like 6.30 this time. Yeah, and there was no chance. I mean, it was like a yeah. six hour queue and it's, we were just like, okay. I would have had, I mean, what I could have done is like, uh, I don't know how appropriate this is, but have have someone uh, log in and just get into the queue for me in the morning or something, um, which is like, I don't even yeah. like, that dives into like account sharing, which is like against mm -hmm. TOS. Um, but you could have had your wife. I could have had my wife. Um, but the whole thing, the point that I want to make about that is that, like, when people have to use methods like that just mm -hmm. to play the game, it sucks. It sucks. Like, I don't want to do that. The queue has made this so much more stressful, hasn't it? Yeah. Like, the launch of Wrath is, like, the queue, knowing that you have to get up early and, okay, yeah. I don't have to do anything. Bob does all of that. Well, because I, I work during the day. So, yeah. Um, but knowing that you have to get up, log in, make sure you don't ever log out. <laughs> oh, yeah. Once I log in by, like, 8 a.m. on two accounts. Yeah. And I don't. I don't officially log out until at least 8 p.m. or later because I'm like, if Just at any point, if at any, <laughs> yeah, if I want to like, if I want to get done with dinner and go mine or herb for yeah. 20 minutes, if I log out, I can't do that. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's so frustrating, I feel like, but I know they're trying. I know they're working on yeah. it, but yeah, we, we definitely hit the, the queue boss a couple times, mainly just that first night that yeah. Wrath dropped. We... Oh, like the first, oh yeah, late. you guys were in the... Yeah, I remember. Yeah, it was great. I I got delayed. I was supposed to be in a dungeon group, and I got delayed because I like went to take a nap before it came out because I knew I was going to play a long session. Right. I got up and had a billion Discord DMs that are like, there's a queue, get back. Uh, and I was like an hour late to my dungeon cleave group, and they just started without me and did four-man. Right. And well, did you... Like, did Feralina stop having queues before Wrath launch? I think I think yes. Yeah. So yeah. did Benediction, right? Yeah. So it was it was we got lulled into uh -huh. a sense of security. Yeah, and yes. then it was like Bob was like, Yeah, we could log on four or five hours early and be there and it yeah. was like we logged on four five hours early and it was like a five hour queue. Yeah. Well it was I mean, we logged in four hours early and the, we ended up getting in the game nine hours later. Yeah. So I I mean I got to really watch the you know the, oh, the, the world first. world first race so That's i mean cool. that was kind of cool and i got to watch winky host and winky and willie were great yeah were great. oh <laughs> yeah people send me like screen there's like uh clips or screenshots they'd like they cut to my stream and i would just like look dead tired and just like give a big yawn and then just like keep playing and it's like yeah that's not I kind of feel bad. It'd be nice if they had let us know, like, hey, we're going to cut to your stream soon. Look, <laughs> look lively for a second. 
Oh man, yeah, I would. Uh, I I didn't even know how to sign up for that, but I guess I didn't get on, so it doesn't. And I wasn't gonna try to to like yeah, speed run. I wasn't but. speed running or anything. Okay, Bob and I went. and We were like, we're gonna do dungeons. We're gonna level to eighty. Yeah. We went into Agar Keep and we did it twice, and we were like, so you want a quest? Because that mm, I don't know about well, that. You guys were you had more fun because of it. Yeah, you guys were priest warrior. Yep, and I was. Uh, prot revenge spec. I mean, yeah. we, we were killing the dungeon. It was just yeah. boring. Oh, yeah. I get that. I absolutely... Because we did dungeon group, and it was like... It, it It is very mentally taxing over time. Yeah, we did it in TBC, like hardcore the whole, yeah. the whole way. And it was like... Like, we have stories of, like, us getting so slap happy in the dungeons on just, like, repeat over and over and over yeah. again. And I was like, no, we can't do that. And it, like, I think it, like, brought back memories doing oh, that, was, yeah. like, multiple times. And I was like, no, this is bad. This there's, is really bad. There's some PTSD there. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, we, we're just, yeah. Oh, I man. think we had more fun questing. And honestly... You get quite a bit of badges questing, and you do. we quested early on, and I did it with two characters, and we didn't end up selling our e our elixirs. So before the change, I mean, oh, yeah. we've got so many like we're we're like using them all now in our per, our her our heroic runs and stuff. Yeah. Oh man, and like it was nutty. Did you do any of the quests when so the big bags were given out? I barely. Oh. And I feel so bad because I play a DPS, so right. it's not even like. When we were doing the dungeon cleave, oh, you don't even get I wasn't even job. getting the ones from the dungeon. So I like I got basically none when they were really good. So I, I miss out. I mean, they were really good, but they were also like overwhelming, right? It was oh, like yeah. you opened it and there's like 15 things yeah. in it. And like, you're just like, I don't have time to parse the, like my bank. Oh, I was just, just like, yep, mail, mail it, mail it, everything. mail it. <laughs> well, and then you got so like, I was like, well, I'll just keep the, I'll just keep the boxes. Then all of a sudden I do like, you know. 45 minutes of quest and I got 15 boxes. Yeah. Look, I need this bag space. Yeah, it is crazy. Oh. They're, yeah, they're so much worse now. It's it's like, yeah. and I, yeah, it's one of those things I'm like, I should have just quested. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, but I think that, I mean, they were just cutting alchemy. They were just destroying alchemy. Oh, by, yeah. By the value, it. it's so crazy because I, uh, I don't think it's a secret, but like, uh, Jordy, for instance, I think it was like after they nerfed them, uh, I guess he, I don't think he did it on stream, but he like came by my stream and someone from his guild was like hanging out in my chat with him. And I was like, oh, what, what's, what were you guys up to today? And his buddy was like, oh, we've been buying out flasks and elixirs and stuff because we know the price is going to jump way up because oh, yeah. we're no longer getting as many. Um, and Jordy was like, yo, shut up, dude. Like, right. <laughs> like, no, don't tell people this. Well, and sure enough. The elixirs were going for less than they vendored for. Yeah. Which cracks me up because people, you've got to like... That's like silly. you're selling it for forty-seven silver, and they vendor for fifty silver. Guys, come yeah. on! Like at least like, I mean, download TSM so you can see the tooltips that tell you the sell price. Yeah. <laughs> oh man! And so I think a lot of people made a ton of money. Well, buying them I'm when they were cheap. I'm still I'm still holding, like like most of them because I'm just watching them go up. Yeah. Ten percent every day, and I think here in a few weeks, I mean, they're gonna be like at yeah. two and three gold a piece. And I mean, they were going for fifty silver, you know, yeah. prior. So be, I think yeah. it's, it's I think it's going to be good to hold on because people have a ton still right now. They do. The market hasn't adjusted yet. It'll be interesting to see too, because I think so many herbs are being used for cards, for dark moon cards. So once and like I don't know how it is on on Benediction, but on Feralina, like greatness has gone from like. 35 40k down to under 20k yep i was i last time i looked it was at 21k and it was at 35 just uh, yeah. just just a few days ago so that might also like as people realize like oh i can't actually make as much money from dark moon cards they may start actually dumping money into consumables yeah uh or their herbs rather into consumables listen i'm an enchanter and i've sold so many mongoose enchants oh on man the auction house because no one like, wants to pay for the good ones listen the mega gold like i'm selling them like 400 gold a pop and then like yeah i'm a hoarder so i have a lot of stuff in my bank that i was able to disenchant <laughs> oh yeah yeah she dis she literally had all of her gear starting from like tier like the first tier and yeah. she had everything in her bank so she well, ended up with like, like, what? I still have a toe. Nice. Lesmo still has toe. Dude, I still have 
on both of my hunters. Full tier one, full tier two, full tier three. Oh wow! Just in my bag, in my bank, because I'm like, you yeah, know what? We get transmog. Can I use things that I disenchanted? I don't think no, so. No, because you would have had to go to back and get them. It. Yeah. So you better have kept that tier three. Great. Oh, did you? <gasps> you you didn't got rid keep of tier three? three? Whoa, you guys! You can't get that anymore. Yeah, it's it's gone. Well, you could still go undelete it, but you'd have to find Nexus crystals. Like, okay, says Bob, who was like, just disenchant everything. Ooh. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I should have I should have oh, said something man. about that. But no, okay. it's a uh, item restoration. Here I come. <laughs> But yeah, she had all these all these crystals. Uh, I forget what the crystal from TBC is called from the epics. Uh, Nexus. Void. 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 Yeah. Nexus so is Nexus classic. is classic. So she was able to make all these mongoose in chance, and the and and mongoose is still bis for tanks. Oh, and it's well that and like the the good DPS in chance are so expensive. So expensive right now that people are going even DPS are getting mongoose right now. Yeah. Like get, DPS in my guild. Like I, I like what was the a couple of days ago we were talking about how everyone's Prebus was doing, and I was like, yeah, I got all my enchants. Like I got, <laughs> I got one like the one ten attack power to a two hander, and I got yeah. ten stats to chest. And people were like, why? And I was like, Prebus. Yeah. And they're like, no one's doing that. <laughs> no one in the guild is doing that. You are wasting money. And I was oh. like, I had them. Like I have, I'm an enchanter. Yeah. I've been doing world tours nonstop. Like I had all the abyss shar or yeah. abyss crystals or whatever. Yeah. So. See. For me, like, to put berserking on something, I need, like, a weapon that is at least, you know, 140-something, uh, you know, DPS. Like, yeah. at least item level 200. Like, like if, if, <laughs> I I get, if I get greed, I'll put it on greed for my oh, okay. rogue, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, but, like, I'm not going to put it on, like, my Well, yeah, I'm putting it on sword. pre -bis. Like actual, like yes, this is one hundred percent my okay, previous. Okay. I was like, enchant I, it's not like I was throwing ten stats <laughs> on just like any chest piece. He's got, like, I got a green chest from yeah. a dungeon. He's like, let's do it. Yeah. Oh man. Well, do you want to ask anything else? I'm I'm kind of ready to go to TwitchCon. Yeah, we got to get going here soon. Yeah. Yeah, we gotta start we rallying the else troops. That we need to bring in? Who hasn't come on? Oh, I don't. I haven't. <laughs> I, think I haven't we, been tracking. I think we have. We've gotten most people. Yeah. But I I, I think. We probably need to go. Yeah. Yeah, it's, our, it's almost pretty yeah. yeah. We're going to miss uh, the opening ceremonies. All right, guys. Well, yeah, it's we're yeah. out. Yeah, there's like, they play a uh, big song and dance and everything. <laughs> See you guys. See you later. I don't know if we'll do something else later, but maybe. <laughs> Thank you very much for checking out Warcraft Reloaded Podcast. Make sure to like and subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss any future content. <laughs>